present. I'll call the meeting to order at 639. Greetings, everybody. Uh, I remember so you guys. Yeah, I'm noticing that uh, our note taker is not here yet, so um, she not and she may not be coming because okay, so oh, children sick, are sick. sick children, uh, somebody, so, okay. can somebody was in the or or, uh, or no? So she's so we can be yeah, yeah. just like seasonal. Oh, so we need a to warm up so kids can stop getting sick. So we have two <laughs> members that are out for kid sickness. I just know of Jenny, Megan. Oh, okay. well, I saw for Megan. She had kid with fever. Okay. Oh, okay. So, um, do we have any adjustments to the agenda to make? I need to be added, please. Is somebody, sorry, is so somebody... So, notes is before we go yeah, further we need, is what I'm saying. Yeah, we need somebody. Somebody needs to take notes. Um, I can or take some notes. Record. They'll be, they won't be as good as hers, record. but... Yeah. Oh, I'll take it. I can record. Cool. Video? Oh, yeah, when does, there, when does the video get posted, Mason? Uh, usually, uh... Uh, 48 hours or so. Okay. Uh, it depends on how quickly everybody gets to. Okay. So maybe we yeah. should try to record it I'll, then we I'll can still go back to, to the orca thing. Yeah, and then maybe we can just together. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, why don't it, so uh, the meeting was called to order at? Uh, it was called to order at 638. And you wanted to add yourself yes, to the agenda. Yes, I need to be added to your agenda for two items. The first is your FY20 tax anticipation line of credit. RFPs okay. are in, and I need you to take action on my recommendation. What number? Okay. Please? Again? And then the second item is just I wanted to present you with your FY19 budget projection. Okay. So this that will be action item six and point one, and uh, discussion item, the second piece, the budget will be discussion item 5.5. And then can we also add under discussion item principles report, because there's some dates. Okay, uh, we'll add a 5.6 for your, yeah, I'm surprised you're not just yeah. listed as a regular thing. But We're just well, trying there's, there's to keep moving. There's a number of things forward. missing on here, and I wanted to add those as well, a board comment and a public comment, because they need yeah. to be Who did this? Is this different? I think um, it's because it's had to reorganize. Right, I think she probably right. cut and pasted and, and okay, so we'll, we'll, we will add a uh, item uh, uh, 3A, public comment, item 3B, uh, board comment. Do we have to reorganize first? Uh, we do. So we're gonna need to do Four. that. We'll do that. We'll do that as soon as we're done ad adjusting the amendment, adjusting the agenda. I was going to say that. So, so it actually four needs to go to. Right, four to needs three. to go to. Uh, yeah, we can switch. We can switch three and four. That will certainly work. And then we'll call it four uh, A and four B. And then, uh, so principal's report. Yeah. And that's then I the need to 6. add uh, executive session. An executive session. Okay. So we will have an executive session for a personnel matter. Is student personnel. matter? Personnel. Okay. So we will add an executive session. We'll make nine an executive session, and then ten will be adjournment. Well, all right. I pretty much read that everything. Um, okay. So we've adjusted the agenda. Uh, oh, one more. Sorry. Yep. Uh, um, I was requested to discuss, though Bonnie's not here, um, uh, pick up, the pick up arrangement here at the school. And I um, just wanted to put it on the record. Okay. In general or specific? Specific to this school. S specific to this specific campus. kiddos to this or just the process? The process there. of, okay. yeah, the process. We can pick up process. Should be a quick one. Mostly, I want to hear sort of what the philosophy is, so I can take that back to the people who can yeah. present. Okay. Something. At the first regular meeting. Oh, do we have? Um, I we're not. We don't have accepting the minutes. We have a uh, consent agenda. We do, but we have to make it number four. For the annual meeting, too, or I don't know. Whatever it may. Working right? Because it's your prior board that. Has yeah, it's a prior, prior board. Minutes. Okay, you're yeah. absolutely right. Sure, we can, we can, we can totally Here's Robert's rules it. So, call to order. Ex adjust, adjust the agenda. agenda. That's the thing. You can only adjust the agenda if it's the first thing. Accept. And then two A. We will accept 
the annual meeting minutes. We don't have that. Don't have no, we just have May 7th, which well, is our last. It's already on there. Your item three is your act to be set to. Okay. Right, right. But we were, he was he was asking to add. Oh, we don't have them. I thought I saw them in email. email. I saw them. But they're email. not printed here, so unless you've all read them and approved them. Is it Tuesday, May 7th? Wasn't that our last meeting? That was our last regular meeting. Not the annual. That's what's here. The annual meeting. So we can't approve the annual meeting. Minutes. No, but we can accept the last. Sure. Regular. Meeting. Sure. It's okay. To fine. keep it, if we're going to be. Dot our T's and cross Sure, our you're right. Certainly, since that meeting was of the old board, we would need to uh, accept yes. those minutes before we, re we reorganize. Um, okay. Um, so there's minutes attached. Uh, have people looked at them? Yeah. I thought they were fine. Um, I would entertain a moment, uh, a motion to uh, approve the minutes as presented. So moved. Second. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to approve the, the, the minutes as presented. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, we have now approved the agenda that was three. Because consent agenda was three, it had to be before the reorganization. So now we're at four, the, uh, and uh, now we're at four for the reorganization. We uh, are required by law to oh, reorganize the board right. at the first regular meeting after uh, the annual meeting. Um, we can go through and uh, elect everyone by roles. Uh, if we're all happy with where uh, the board has been um, and are, are happy to, to uh, continue in the same roles, we can just reelect the slate. What is your pleasure? I know that Megan commented that if somebody else is willing to um, take her place as the um, on the full on the, what, the supervisory union board, the full board, uh, the full board. Um, did everybody read that email she sent? I yeah. Know. Was it today? It was this afternoon. Oh, I didn't know. Okay. I didn't we don't have any internet. Okay. Um, home, so. That she, would, she was okay, feeling no. that she wasn't putting as much time into it as um, right. could should be. Um, and they meet once a month? Uh, every other month. They alternate with the executive board. And uh, as point of fact, uh, item 4.5, um, that is, 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 is not a, you only appoint an alternate, the chairman of the board is automatically sent to the executive board by bylaw. And am I the alternate? Was I the alternate before? I think you were. Yeah. I have, um, Megan as the alternate. For oh, the okay. executive board? For the executive board. Okay. Um, so this is from Megan. As for electing people, I'd be reluctant. I would reluctantly remain on the full board of the White River Valley SU. I had an extremely hard time making time this year attending meetings that were mostly in Rawlinson. I know this is extremely important to attend these meetings, um, but she would be happy to continue to do it if um, nobody else is willing, but she did want to put that, that offer out there. Um, can you just, uh, clarification, what is the difference between the full board and the executive board? What uh, the executive board, um, has uh, has power to approve uh, a number of things. Um, it's made up of the chairs of every board, um, with the exception of whoever's elected the SU chair. Their board gets a different person on there, so that there's a, a, a town represent uh, there's a representative from every town. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, and and sometimes the SU board chair and the town the town board chair aren't the same. Um, they meet every other month. The, the board was, was put together uh, in the first place because sometimes it was hard to get a quorum of the whole SU board, and there were things that would need to be dealt with or approved. The so, executive board approves the SU budget? Right. Or, the, or, it's decide, or it kicks it to the full board, but usually the executive board develops the budget. The executive board does a lot more of the, 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 the nitty-gritty detail things, and the full board gets together more to two like take action based on recommendations from the executive board. Like the executive board will say, here's the budget we represent, we recommend. And then the full board will look at it and ask questions and you know move on. But the idea is it's a smaller, it's a smaller group that, you know, if you think about it, if you're on the executive board, you're there for the executive board meeting and for the full SU board meeting. So you're there every month. Oh, so um, Monday, yeah, fourth Monday, right? Yeah. Um, so you know, it's it's uh, the executive board is, is is obviously every every fourth Monday, whereas the full SU board is every other fourth Monday. And by law, we have three people. We have th uh, our the SU board is made up made up of three three uh, board members from from every uh, district. Who else is a board member? For which? For the uh, full, full board. So the what I have for last year was 
um, Carl, Megan, and then you, me, and Janie were going to alternate. Oh. We never did, did we? Oh. No, we never did. That would have, I mean, if we just acted on that, that, that would, make, that would that make, make, that would make, if we actually just made that and scheduled that, that would probably take a lot of stress off of Megan, because you would only be going, let's say, potentially every fourth time. Well, there's three members. We need to be two, 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 and then an alternating, alternating group for the third member. But even if we could get two people to a full board meeting, it probably is, it yeah. would be good. I yeah, think. and we really, I mean, it's, it's important to be there and make, made our, make our voices be heard, but there's, there's really not been, I can only think of a couple votes that, that have really been, you know, where, where well, we might have poured out of information. Yeah. From the ASU. You know, there's yes. not, there's not a lot of times where the board's been divided <coughs> and been like, gosh darn it, if we had had a couple more Rochester Stockbridgeians, mm -hmm. we would have, you know, the question would have gone our way. In general, most everything's um, consensus there. What's, should we keep it as it is, or should one of us step up to? I, I, I can't step up more than that. Yeah. And I'm sure you can either. Yeah, it's about the that. same. Well, maybe but if we can just um, alternate. Actually our do it. Yeah, but really alternate. I think if we really skip. the second spot. As the, as third, the third spot. spot. Yeah. And leave Megan in the second spot. And. But with our stepping up for more, more support there would help alleviate because it is nice to have all three there. But if we can at least get one or two, it's, yeah. that's and I guess that would a lot of a lot of tools, a lot of a lot of uh, uh, districts, you know, are only represented by one or two. It's not, you know, it's it's, um, it's often not. A but that would help communication from you and Megan when sure. it's not convenient from you, so that we as much as ahead of time, so we can make it. Okay. Um, Right. Maybe we we could um, look at our calendars mm -hmm. and, and really mm -hmm. try to pencil yep. and all go to this one. Yes, if I know that ahead of time. Yeah, yeah that would be that would be that would be doable, and I think take a lot of stress off off her. Okay. Uh, do we know? I, I we should not hear how many times she ended up going. I thought pretty she, regular. She went. A she went. She went a number of times. Yeah. 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 That's what I thought. Okay. So we should keep it the same. Yeah. Let's keep, so then should we, should we wait to it till we yeah, get there? Yes. Okay. Well, we're at the we we can just if we're going to keep it the same, we can just we can just reelect the slate and and, and, and be done with the organization um, with one vote. Who was the truant officer last year? Just out of curiosity. Um, Mark Belio. Oh, but he's not working for the town. Or is, can he still be the truant officer? If he's not working in the... Do you want me to go over at what everybody was last yeah, year? Yeah, I think it's a good we, idea. So we have um, Chairperson Carl, Vice Chair, myself, Clerk Jenny. Uh, we've already done the three members of the full board. The one member's Carl, the alternate was Megan of the executive board. So that might be something mm. somebody would, might want to change. Um, the recording secretary, which I'm not sure what that... I think that's Jenny. It is Jenny, but I'm not sure what that responsibility is different from the clerk. If that's your minutes actually taking the minutes. Oh, okay. Okay, okay right. The, the, the clerk, clerk has assigned the minutes. Has certain um, responsibilities that might be different. So that was Jenny. Um, one member and an alternate for um, AP was Janie and myself as the alternate. Um, two members of the negotiating board was Carl and Ethan. And the truant officer is Mark Belisle. The newspaper was the Herald, WDEV. And the radio station was 96.1. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the radio station. The Herald is the newspaper. Um, and then we set the meeting as the first Tuesday of the month at 6.30. And the designated posting places were Post Office and Max, but there must have been a couple more. We do have this. Well, we don't have Max anymore, of course. Correct. We should take that off. I think we have the school and the town offices in our town. Yes. I think we have the, those two here, too. So I don't know if that makes it so we have to go through each one individually rather than as a slate. Um, We're really not changing anything, huh? Well, I mean, I, I think, so she's really talking not so much about the full board as the executive board, right? Yeah. Yeah, because cool. that's where the nitty gritty happens, as you say. If right, well, if you're doing the full board, she was doing the full board and the executive board alternate. That's a lot. Theoretically, that's every fourth Monday. Yeah. It was the, I reluctantly remain on the full board of the... Okay, so then she would not be the, she would not want to do the alternate to the executive board. Mm -hmm. um, 
If I could be off the alternate of the full board, I would step up to the executive board alternate. Okay. And then you and I would have yeah. to. Yeah, you too. How does right. that? Or maybe so? maybe Megan would help, well, Megan would maybe still do the, well, she knows she'd be the second person to the full board. So then you two would rotate for the. Okay. How does that, or does that okay. put too much on you, but. As long as I know ahead of time. Right, yeah. I think yeah. that yeah. was probably a lot I mean, of she had talked to me about it earlier and saying, you know, Guys, I can do it for a year. All right, so it sounds like we do need to go through it individually. Yeah. Okay. All right. And do we need to do this proper Robert's Rules, nominate, and all that, or just can we do it fast? Uh, we can do it fast, I think, cool. especially since we have uh, people that yes, we are sitting here fascinating. going. Fascinating. fascinating. Isn't it just <laughs> electrifying? Okay, so I nominate Carl. <laughs> I second it. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Thank Carl's you. chairperson. Uh, I would entertain nominations for a vice chair. Amy. I know Amy Wilt. Except. Okay. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, I would entertain nominations for a clerk and recording secretary. Jenny. Definitely. She does a good second. job. Second. Okay. Uh, Jenny has been uh, nominated in second. Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, three members to the uh, full board. That is myself, uh, Megan, and rotating. Uh, Amy and Jenny was the was Janie. a suggestion. Janie. 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 Not Jenny. Jane. Yeah. Um, was the was a suggestion. Uh, I'd entertain a motion to nominate that slate. <coughs> seconded. Uh, motion's been made and, no and seconded to nominate myself, uh, Megan, and uh, alternating Amy and, and Janie to the full board. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, all those opposed? Okay, um, I am officially a member of the uh, SU Executive Board. We need an alternate. I would entertain nominations for uh, Executive Board alternate. I nominate Ethan Long. Second. Uh, Ethan has so been uh, nominated yeah, and seconded. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Yeah, I, was I was don't have the support name. of the board. I was really. writing your name in, so I already put you there. So. Uh, negotiations board, again, one of those roles Wait, is uh, traditionally I? the I president. Okay. Uh, Ethan Bowen had been serving in that capacity. I have nominated Ethan. Yeah, sure. Wait, negotiate. Second. Have we already jumped past payroll? Yes, they skipped me. Oh, yeah, yeah we, we did. did. <laughs> um, well, we'll do. We're, we're, I just open. I, I just open nominations for the negotiation board. We'll finish that and come back to to payroll. Uh, Actually, this is these are the, 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 we're electing people that are appointments. Ah, uh, <laughs> we only have to elect the first three. Yes, we do. A point. Thank so, you. Okay. This is why the English language is good. <laughs> and why Very we useful. Be. And why we should All right. read. No, so uh, we will appoint. Uh, we will appoint uh, Ethan uh, as the alternate <laughs> for the negotiations board. We will appoint Amy and uh, Janie uh, for the AP payroll roles. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So that uh, 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 we make that appointment. Janie and who? Amy. Amy, we appoint we appoint Mark to be the uh, truant officer, well, subject to yeah, confirmation with Bruce, as to there there may be legal requirements, right? I don't know. Do you I mean, don't we want a truant officer who's actually working in the valley? Well, but is he driving for us still? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think so. He's like a son. Okay. Let's let's hold off on this too, because didn't we do something with? Wasn't there something we just did with a with a? Didn't we pass a motion or something about going with the Windsor County right, truancy? Right, presented tomorrow at our admin meeting in the morning. I don't know without <coughs> okay. the details. Because I, 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 I'm sorry, I, I've forgotten that bit till just now. But yeah, we're supposed to, there's there's something happening at the SU level with truancy in Windsor County and all that. Okay. So okay. let's table appointing a truant officer table. subject to subject to, to hearing that discussion and getting guidance from our superintendent. And we have an executive meeting at the board has to I know. That was dramatic. But. Okay. Yeah. So we have now, uh, we, we've designated our newspaper and radio stations as the Herald and DEV. Accepted. Um, first Tuesday, this first Tuesday of the month still work for everybody? I like it. Okay, we'll keep that. Uh, 6.30 uh, p.m. alternating locations. Uh, our posting places will be the schools and the uh, town offices. And our post office. And the post office, yes. And uh, I'm sorry, but who's responsible for putting out the post office? Is that our school? Um, Who's leader clerk? Does Lisa do that? 
sometimes your administrative assistants will do it. Yeah, I, mean, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't doubt if Lisa did. Lisa, do, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, we assign somebody to oh, yeah. so I mean, you know if it was right. our town clerk or if it's her. Do we know who it is in the town clerk's responsibility to put it at the town office? I mean, it's the right. I've done it. Yeah. It just because I they have mm -hmm. Again, I I have no qualms in saying that Janet would not mind getting it to the town right. office. That'd be great. And I, I think we, we just sent it to Kathy I and mean, she posted it. And the post it's office. Christy has yeah. some the, yeah. right. the post office in Stockbridge wouldn't be a problem either because that's a parent. So we could Dory, just give it Trudeau, to the parent. Yeah. Well, it's just, I, I, I mean, not to expand. Yeah. But just to make sure it's clear, especially if we're getting new. Right. I know that Stockbridge is getting a new town clerk, and if it's their responsibility, it's just nice that, yep. they, you know. that they are told this. Yep. And, <clears throat> and same with ours. Ours is a new yeah. witness. Yeah, well, right, so. exactly. And her name is our new? In town? Yeah. Uh, Julie Smith. Julie. Thank you. All right, so we are we are now reorganized. Thank you for your book. Yes. Uh, in reference to uh, newspapers, I, I consider Mountain Times. It's a free paper, at least here in Rochester. I don't know about Stockbridge if it floats around there, but Mountain Times is distributed here. We can certainly. Uh, uh, what type of stuff are we posting in the newspaper? We usually send them the, the warnings. Well, also, they do an article in the Herald about every meeting, mm -hmm. what we talked about. Just um, no. We have no reporter here today. Yeah. Uh, that um, we usually don't have many. Well, maybe we can. We can reach out. To, we can uh, maybe have Janet reach out to the Mountain Times and I think see. It'd be good to put um, as a thought, but to, uh, the paper that we designate, I would think we should stick with yeah. the Herald. And but I do think that that is a great idea to. No, I, I think anywhere we can get, we can get, more. we can get, we can uh, get to take our our, our our press releases and our, our agendas right. and everything is mm -hmm. is is is, is, is yeah, important. Free paper, it's it circulated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anybody can pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, the Black River Design Report. Lay it on us. <laughs> so they met with the committee, which was myself, Amy, and um, Jenny, a couple of weeks ago. So I'm going to preface by saying I told that I directed them to. There's a lot of bigger discussions that can come out of this, and a lot of bigger discussions. <laughs> a lot. Because we even went down that road based on looking at some numbers and some other things. Um, just naturally it happens, but for the purpose of the fact that we've had a lot of late meetings with budget, some of the bigger conversations are probably some discussions you want to have about forming some committees and some other things with the information they're able to provide. This was actually an agenda item you and I talked about, which was a uh, retreat. Yeah. Right. So, well, it's going to do it. Maybe I should have made so it. So, we went. And then action item. We went. Um, line item by line item as the committee. <laughs> we have, and, and it took a while. It was great information. That was like a two hours and we spent right. more and more in that Probably meeting. Probably, right. And that's all it's in. It went like that. Yeah. Is that? No, no, we have No, and that's not it. Yeah. This isn't it either. So we're still in a draft phase here. Right. But, um, okay. So this oh, is, okay. yeah. So this is like opportunity for any feedback or questions you have for them before they finalize we'll start by doing their this. information. Um, and also we we'll ask for like on. priority, like. So um, just as we're looking at this, Same to understand that, wow. what we're, what type of information we're getting next. Mm -hmm. Is this book that you're, that you kind of show here is it's in draft form, and right. that will be the next piece of we're, stuff yeah, we'll get. Or? We'll talk about all the stuff that's going to in, be in the book when we're finished. Okay, that's what I was wondering. We're, 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 we are in the gonna end, you're going to have a you're going to have something that you can have with okay. you that's going to have a lot of very dense information. That's what I was. All the charts and spreadsheets that we were looking at the other day. Okay, plus so, some some so more. So who was on that phone back call? Back. It was my, the three and, two of us are here. Right, the and Jenny is not. Jenny, okay. So. I mean, the, the key, the key document for tonight is this little eight and a half by eleven piece that we've tried to condense some conclusions and whatnot on there to make this work for a forty minutes of, of of presentation or less and more time than for you, however much you want of questions or conversation. She keeps 
confusion for the people who are not here. Chief Paul, if you're not here. Well, I don't have any stuff for that, so, so okay, I can go ahead and file for okay. I know Jenny Hill. Jenny Hill. So the, the first thing I want to say is this has actually been interesting watching and listening to you guys. How long have you been a unified school district? One year? One full year. Yeah. Well, yeah. I have to say, I don't know you, and I couldn't tell you which of you are from Southridge or which are from Rochester. You work together really nicely. Oh, nice. Thanks. <laughs> That's nice. So um, there's people from the same towns that have seen people. <laughs> Sure. You can tell whether they're from this side of town and that side. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so we want to try to summarize where we've been and what we've done and the information that's now available to you tonight. Um, we are really, I feel, we're finished with what we've done. We wanted to make this presentation to you, get a little bit of feedback, and we can finalize our reports. There's one more piece of information. We may want to wait a few more months before we insert it in and then hand it to you, which is the asbestos stuff, or not. Um, so, and I, I wasn't at your last meeting, so you know Polly. I'm John, for those of you who haven't met me. Um, I'm a partner at Black River. Polly's a longtime employee and project manager here and done at least half of the work here. So if you remember, you know, there were three components when we put our proposal in. The first was documenting your existing buildings, and we can hand these over to you tonight. And, and that, and probably Tara, you'd like that maybe, or something to keep maybe at the central office. This is the... That has DWG files and Revit files on it of all three schools. Okay. So that means you could use it for an AutoCAD program, or if somebody has our same 3D Revit. Revit program that we use, they've got the 3D models of that building. So and what is on that is this. Is this, which are, you know, there's, there's a floor plan of your existing building. This is. You are here. Which we, this we is this building. This before, right. Right? No, we so don't. Good. And now you don't need all those various pieces of keep. ragged plans oh, that are all over the place. so excited oh, yeah. to throw something away tomorrow. So, <laughs> and in addition, then there's, 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 a, there's a roof yeah. plan, there's some building elevations. What's nice with those electronic versions that you have is if you have the right program, you can kind of spin around the building, you can create whichever view you like. Yeah, and I, I do like believe that Jenny... Brand new in these pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> brand new Jenny yeah. Jenny has, I do believe that Jenny has either that the program they're talking about or definitely has access to right so and there's the high school right there and this the upper levels the lower actually i think it's the lower level and the roof and there's the, the building the elevations is the, is the roof does the roof include penetrations no mm. The windows, I doors. Been on the roof. We, it's really the thing of this is a no. map gotcha. of the building. and there is you know if you really dive in and are doing a renovation project, you know, this doesn't include cabinetry and a lot of details and obviously okay. no. But it has the okay. plumbing like, fixtures. It's, it's, but it's a base that any engineer that's going to do work start. in there could yeah. use as a map that's right. accurate and has. And of course, as soon as you move a wall or a door or change a window, it's not right. But. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. So anyway, that piece is finished, and those, I think, will help you, and you can put them out off of there at whatever size you want to do your evacuation plans and everything else. So the, the second <clears throat> piece was the, um, the facility assessment, which is really what Polly went over with you the last time, where we sat down with Lindy and Bonnie and talked about what the space needs were and compared and what you have and which buildings. And that's what you're looking at here. And I think at the bottom of that sheet, you came up with some number of square feet that the program needs were telling you you could add to there to kind of fulfill your program. And I think. What we said here at Stockbridge was 1,200 to 2,200 square feet, depending on how much you wanted to add and how that worked. Um, and at, I'm skipping ahead here, this is listed in, the, in, in Rochester, of course. It's, it's a little different. It was, um, it's a different, <laughs> it's, well, it's a totally different thing. You guys have given us a very interesting problem. I don't know it's not a problem, but I mean, it's like a math problem, right? Something you have to solve or work through. So sticking with Stockbridge, <laughs> um, we then went through, and this was the new stuff we went over with these guys the other day and was kind of not done yet when 
we got um, at the last meeting, we created this spreadsheet here, and I don't want to go through this line by line, but you know, it talks about you know this is the accessibility and the building envelope, and there's 10 other categories on there. And we tried to highlight priorities. Um, this is a description of that piece and the, what we might do to solve that priorities. And then over here on these columns, if you scroll up there, Polly. Mm -hmm. Are you up there? There we go. At least I'm not standing in front of the arrow like the guy at our lunch presentation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the guy was in there trying to advance the slide, but he couldn't see where the arrow was here because his partner was standing in front of <laughs> So we kind of talked about what is this? This is oh, drinking fountains. You know, so add a fountain to make it dual level. If you have one of them, per each, we're saying is a $4,500 cost. And in this case, then wow, the minimum would be $4,500. Now, that's not just the, the, the just drinking fountain. Problems. That's getting the drinking fountain, getting it here, getting a plumber involved, hanging it on the wall, the bringing the water pipe right. to it, okay. making sure there's a drain from it. Of course. Question, uh, uh, two is high or two is low? Two. Uh, priority. Oh, priority. One is is something you really ought to do soon. OK, so Four. first. OK, because it goes reverse. Yeah. So the darker, the darker, the more gotcha. red on there is, that's what the I'm more important, important it is. It is. Gotcha. Yes. So uh, with that example of the drinking fountain and the cost that you've yes. uh, associated with it, you have done that with all items in here, that it is the cost, not only just to buy the unit, but right. to yeah. what it's going to take to and get it. And a lot of times, it's, for the most part, right. Placed. It's like if that was the only thing you were doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So of course, of course, at some point, the, the project gets big enough, there's the probably some changed, economies yeah. of scale. Mm -hmm. but Correct, right. Th this isn't really set up to do that quite so much. And we try to, it may, actually, if that were the only thing you, do, you were doing, it might be actually a little more than that. Yeah. So, okay. and these are just, these are not prices of anybody that's saying they're going to do it for that. It's just me taking my experience and saying, look, this is a good. It's a good piece. starting point for us to right. see that that would be. It's a, ball, it's a, it's a ballpark right. figure. Uh, yeah. you know, and like most ballpark figures, project, if you. We don't know, you know how far in the future you're going to be doing this. Right, and right. right. And you, you've, built in, you've built in some cushion because everything has some unexpected. Right. But, you know, so that we at least know it's not be a $500 rent. Right. Right. So and here's a staff restroom. You know, if you want to do that, we're saying that's $20,000. Well, okay, a dual restroom is going to be more than a, a, a nice new chilled water drinking fountain. Right? Um, so anyway, we found these, this method to be relatively accurate and highly useful to a lot of people. Um, so without going through each of those things, we tried to then summarize right here in words um, what we, we found. So at Stockbridge, high priority items, if you look kind of in the middle of the facility, high priority items include re relocating the bus plug-in away from the eave. Our electrical engineer saw that and said that's a potential safety hazard, right, where the water's running out the roof yep. and you're plugging your bus in. So. Um, uh, we like to live on the edge. <laughs> 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 no, I lose the bus driver. Your bus driver awake. <laughs> so, you know, and the same with the emergency lighting, both inside and outside the building. He really thinks you should have a fully functioning system there that has there because if you don't have an emergency, it, is, it doesn't matter. It's. I believe there it's working. It's just there's their battery units and they have a lifespan, and it's it's one of those that's they deemed as important to do soon. And that detail will be in the report later yes. that will say that we have the right. We're going to be given a so copy of this spreadsheet. Yes. So yeah. if you right look here. at this, this tells you right there that yes, they're working and they have coverage, but we want new ones because they're battery equipment. And if you dig, we'll have the engineer's assessment as well, which gives you more detail of exactly what they and in this paper. And you can see that it's yeah, okay. this a one right here. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And we can also give you this when we hand you yes the pieces of paper to show all this. I don't mind giving you this Excel spreadsheet. Okay. And you can play with it all yeah, of your life. That's, that's and you can take all the number ones or right. whichever items add you want and column. add another column on it. Yeah, that would that's be all perfect. we do is we brilliant. add more columns yeah. and we start hiding them and okay. you know there's no need to ever delete one of these columns. No, okay, that's no it's hard on an Excel spreadsheet to you know exceed your memory on the <laughs> It goes on like forever. Like you used to be able to. <laughs> we had somebody try to 
print the entire worksheet once, and we wondered why the printer just kept printing oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like all night. So oh, just John, you can't be. do it that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, um, so again, there's that. There's the buried oil tank that I think Polly may have talked to you about the last time, that you've got buried oil tanks at all these sites. Our concern is that you really should need to pay attention to that if there is a leak, and we're not saying that there is or that we even suspect that there is, but if there is, you, that causes really serious problems and it's going to burn you down the road because you're going to have a bunch of contaminated yeah, soil. So, oh, sorry. We're, we're suggesting yeah, that you get... You know where it is because you're filtering yeah. if you walk right by it. Like you that. trip over it every time you go in the building. Yeah. Oh. Do you yeah. know the age of the tanks? Um, let's see. Before. This one, Stockbridge, installed in 1990, I think. Wow. Um, so it's not so old. And I think it's getting old. It's not so old. <laughs> uh, I would have to go to that. Hang on. Maybe I can. Is there a way to be able to tell without digging it up? Oh. Oh. Well, you know, well, Polly and I were talking about that again on the way down here tonight. It, yeah. it, I don't think it's that easy. The person that I would talk to, or the company I would talk to, are the people that does your asbestos testing. It's a company called ATC. And I know they do phase one environmental assessments. And if you were to have a problem there, they could help you with that. They probably have methods for kind of testing that. And it, it may just be kind of getting down into the tank when it's relatively empty to see if there's any water in that oil that's in there. Um, so, uh, or if there's a, yeah, hopefully, it, it, with it being a 1990 tank, there is an interstitial space in there, and that's really what you want to do. Is you probably just stick a rag down in that in that interstitial space. If it comes up dry, you're good. If it comes up with oil on it, you know the inside tank is leaking. If it comes up with water on it, then you know the outside, outside tank, tank is leaking. Mm -hmm. okay. So um, anyway, if that's just something we're saying you should test, just so it's something you should know. And this building. The tank has a leak monitoring system, which you can have. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. So it may be as simple as repairing, that. repairing, replacing the leak monitoring system might be a good idea. Which tank? Which tank? Uh, the, the one awesome. here. This on one. This the the, the one that you walked by on the, the way. The elementary yes. tank. The high school. We don't know how old the tank is there. Aging. <laughs> can't be that old. The building's only 1970 something. <laughs> I mean, I'm way older than that. <laughs> <laughs> How bad can it be? So then the last Ooh. item we had on that list was the asbestos flooring, which I know I've mentioned to Linda right. in the past. And they're coming to all three they buildings. They are going to be, exactly. So, you know, it, some of that flooring may be worth a project sooner than later if you find that it's mm -hmm. not in great shape and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so then there's the list of more significant improvements that we recommend. And this is the scope of work that gets a lot harder to define because what I think or Polly thinks, and we don't necessarily agree either, you know, is, is to be that ideal project. It's going to be different than what you do. So that's why we try to give you this list and allow you to kind of choose that. Now, we have the perspective of having worked on a lot of buildings and knowing kind of where people end up on projects. Now, some communities are, will err on the side of doing more, some will err, and I think it's an error of, of doing less because then you always wish that you would have done that, especially if you get a, a positive vote in a community, then you think, oh, we should have asked for a little more and done those two things that make a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the tough task of this board, is to figure out what is that right scope of work. On the other hand, you know, we feel looking at Stockbridge that there is a, a real need for some additional space there. When I see that copier out in the middle of the hallway and I see some of the other stuff that's happening special in the hallway, in the hallway. And it's special ed there. Yeah, forget the copier, you know, special and ed. I think you know, and, and even your multi-purpose room, you know, when it's got so much stuff in it, and I may be a little biased because the first time I saw that room, the stage was there and had been for a couple of weeks because there'd been some snow days. Just a few. So you know, that really made that room look even smaller and more. So the stage congested. was pulled out. It lives someplace that it's hard to it get. It lives to. in a shed. It doesn't even go to the shed. Oh. It doesn't fit it lives on the porch. It so it tends to needs storage space. <laughs> right. right. So anyway, so we think there is some need there. Um, and exactly how much is up to you to decide. May I ask a question? Yes? If, if, and maybe this is more Lindy, if we did something about the sp storage space, would that do something to assist special ed in the hallways? Um, well, there's potential. No. No. Not really. Not really. I mean, storage space would create a lot of it, but it's 
okay. would help tremendously. It would get rid of the clutter. It would you have, it there's more a real dearth of, of small meeting spaces in that building right. for one on one or right. small group instruction. Right. There's like no that. there's no seclusion room. There's no there's no nurse's office. Right. And those you are know. all listed in that other right. program, which will be part of you know the the the, 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 the yeah. faculty bathroom is an ADA compliant. So right. Right. that's a loss. Right. Way so to adding that right. actually goes a long way because that one single ADA compliant single stall restroom can serve for any student that would need it any kind of gender inclusivity that you uh, issue that comes up in the building um you know, faculty bathroom separate from going in and using the children's uh, and restrooms nurse. nurse visitors you know so that one restroom can actually solve a lot of needs there mm -hmm. so um so the other major things that we saw from our consultants um, and us was the fire alarm system the furnace and the multi-purpose room the ventilation system and the aforementioned staff bathroom. So now, those aren't the only things that we put into this recommended, but those are the highlights. Those are kind of the pieces. highlights of this list. Right. So those are and those are the ones that those are the ones that sugar out to a million two. Yeah, are the number twos. Yeah, a lot of them are number twos. Um, those, there's there's a quite a few small items in addition that add to that million two. The yes. expansion of the space. Is what really? Yeah, no, and that's. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, I, I did not think that. I did not think we were doing something for under a million dollars. Right. Right, Just right, right, right. the top couple bullets are the hundred and forty. Yeah. So the hundred and forty, you know, if Paul, if you go back up to the top of that screen. Mm -hmm. So we've got. Oh, yeah. You want to see that? No, I do want to see this. The, that's the bar. Sorry. Here. So that would be what we're calling here the minimum scope. So that is the drinking fountain in the, um, that's. Uh, toilet partitions in the multi-stall bathroom. Right, to kind of make them ADA accessible. Which means wider or just. They are so close to meeting code, those bathrooms. It's inches away. So basically new toilet partitions in the existing space. space and. I think some shields under your sinks, and you're pretty close to there. So, and then you could pretty be, simple work. You could meet the federal law yeah. that says that's how it's supposed to be. Right. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. So anyway, so when you get this, you'll be able to look down and see some of those things. That number. So, the, the, so this is just a subtotal of the ADA stuff. So it's like nineteen thousand of that. If we scroll down, you can see. But. Um, <clears throat> Just a quick yep. question. Um, actually, I'm not sure for you, but that's more for uh, where where would it, all this money come from? Any of this money come from? Even whether it's 140 thousand or two million? It would come seven. from a bond. A bond. I mean, that, well, I mean, it, it, we might win the lottery, and so or someone uh, in town might win the lottery. But there's also a new um, resource that they turn that um, Polly and John turned us onto. It's called the Rural. Rural development, rural right? Rural okay, from the from the feds, yeah, yeah. From the feds, and you know, it's and it's grant and, and low, not low it interest. It can be. And it all depends on where you're at and your poverty level or your your need levels or your income levels and whatnot in town. Um, you know, Chittenden County doesn't qualify because they're not rural. Um, right. But yeah. still, but but it, it can be. What is some grants? <laughs> it's not rural. Chittenden County. Yeah. Well, Burlington is not Burlington, rural. Burlington, Essex. Oh, rural. okay. <laughs> So New York City, Burlington. Well, yeah. There's not a lot of line. There's a couple of things. Perspective. So, um, but they can, it can be grants, some grants, but it's always going to be with some loan to match it or something. And it all depends on the the, the income levels right. in your communities. Um, so you'd have to talk to somebody there to find out specifically what those right. are. And they also offer some they their pitch to me was that they're very competitive on the uh, interest rates they can sometimes get you a longer payback period you know with the lower interest rates maybe it's the same amount but you're spreading it out so you're going right. or less so there are options there the other thing that i see a lot of school districts doing now and this has come up in the last 10 years or 11 years since the moratorium on school construction aid went into place is that School districts are setting aside sinking funds every year. They have a much greater um, propensity to set aside funds every year to, to be able, when the roof leaks, to actually 
repair it without raiding some other right. and we have in town we have we have we have uh, one of them we I know we have one in Stockbridge I think you guys took the some funds have put it more in education right. reserve, but it's not in the, you know, it's, it's not in that, right. it's, it's, you know, it's a hundred and a half. Which right. Well, we have, we have them in the town for plow trucks and things yeah. like that. Right. But as I believe Tara had mentioned in one of our meetings that, or that we want to start going forward with taking a percentage of any amount requested. of surplus that we have and putting it towards right. our reserve. And, and what I'm seeing some towns now do is they've done that enough that they actually have enough money there right. that now, they have a facility director or someone who is looking ahead. And as you get to, I would say, when you get to about December, <laughs> um, or as you come back at the beginning of the year, start thinking about what projects you want to do in the summer so that you can get prices on those. In these days, you really, we're finding February is the right time to do this. By the time we got to April, yeah. we couldn't find any contractors. That's too busy. Yeah. It's just, that's just, but that's just the market right just now. Just another clarification question, if I may. Uh, once you decide that you want to do a project and you bond or you grant, who handles those financial issues? Do we actually do the bond? Do we write the... Do you do it? Office. Business office? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's and typically through the Vermont Bond Bank. Yeah. yeah. And oh, your, okay. your business manager in the bond bank will become good be fast friends. Spreadsheet. And then we need to go to vote in the town we need to agree. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's all that part. Special meetings. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Great. Right. Thank you. So that's one process and there's another whole process with yeah. the design team and yeah. contractors and yeah. But there's lots of professionals in the state that can help you right through that. It's just amazing because, you know, just thinking of the scope of mm -hmm. this, right. and it's not just one building. Right. <laughs> That's right. How can you even turn the page for this? Well, no. So, so yeah, as you can see exactly. at the bottom, we said that the, the suggested scope would cost about a million two. Uh, obviously, there's a huge range there, and it could be anywhere from five or six hundred thousand at the very low end to, you know, up to the two million here that we talked about. So, um, anyway. That's that stock risk. That one was really simple. <laughs> and, and the cur that was the that was the fastball down the middle of the plate. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 the Rochester, I don't know if it was a change up or a, a curveball, but it was one or the other. Um, so <clears throat> on this one, there's really two buildings. So we really we've got two pages here, and we try to keep it a page for each. So with the program piece, as Polly went over with you the last time, there was a small amount of space that you might want to add. When you're talking about this building, you have to think about the concept, you know, that well in this season we'll say a tornado just went through and destroyed that building over there. So what would you need to do to be in this single facility? Well, right now, right off, big picture, there's an art room and music room over there that the kids go to all the time. So those would have to be spaces or programs that you'd have to accommodate here. You'd have to th we have shown it, I think, as both an art room and a music room. Separate. Separate. Yes. You can always say, OK, we don't have the, and, and, and that building over there is a luxury. You've got so much space, you just have you know, lots of space to do. You have an art room and a music room for 100 and how many students? 90, about, uh, about 100 students. Kids. Yeah. You know, you may not need both an art and a music room. You might be able to do it as a single room. So that would reduce these costs some. But you, you need to have some way to accommodate them here. And I can tell you that there is no rooms in this building that's going to do that unless you were to put them all in the gym somehow and use the gym as those spaces as well. And now you've just set up for twice as many kids as a stock bridge, about, the exact same issue you have there. What about dividing this room in half? Well, then you wouldn't have a library. And we already well, There was some discussion that this room is not really is tight as it is. I mean, if you got to that it's point, you, it's locked a lot of the time, so right. it's underutilized. Right. If you put, you know, 17 kiddos with their art projects in a small chunk of it. Well, I'm just that, thinking yeah. be better off. I'm thinking of what Stockbridge deal was with there. Right. I mean, exactly. and again, we, we, we start to yeah. digress a little, but you could you could make this into an art and music room and somehow have some space that's, that's just art for storage and some place over here that's just the music stuff stored and you've got a space in the middle and you either use that stuff in this space or you move the art I'm, stuff into here. And I'm just thinking the classic <laughs> argument that Stockbridge has brought to us. Again, the people of Stockbridge have said, well, we've been doing it for years. Mm -hmm. um, right. This is the biggest single room in this building. 
correct? After the gym. After the gym, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's us. And, so, it's, and it's underutilized. And the library in Stockbridge is a third of this room. Probably. Sure. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's quarter. No, it's, 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 it's more similar than you think in size. Right. Okay. Just have different yeah, just anyway, that's a, something different. Right, and again, those are all things that are on the table when you talk about yep. it. For the purpose of this, we said a library is an appropriate space and part of the program for, oh, for this building. I'm so, a huge library person. Um, so, you know, a goal, as I said here, or as, as we wrote here, a goal is to have all elementary school functions in one building. To do so would mean either adding on to the elementary school building or relocating to the high school building. So as you look at the program, those are the two things we're looking at. So mm -hmm. first thing, if we were going to keep it in this building and add on some space, what would we need to do? In the end, the additional space is just one small component in that, in that chart that we were just looking at is you know, space needs. And that's, that's one cost component. But there's a lot of other things that have to happen in this building. So along the lines as at Stockbridge, the high priority items is the emergency lighting piece again, just like we talked about there the buried oil tank, like we talked about. There's a mixing valve for the kitchen water heater that really should be done because that makes sure that you're not scalding people as the water comes out of the faucets, and it's a plumbing code issue. Um, and the same with the backflow preventer on the main water supply. That's, that's a code issue as well. Great so, you know, those last two things, they, I mean, they're nothing you want to pay for right out of your pocket at your house, but in the big picture of a school budget, those are probably just regular maintenance items that you should, you should probably just yeah. do, hire a plumber yeah. and do. Mm -hmm. um, that's, that's my take, and if my plumbing engineer were here, he'd probably make a stronger pitch for it than he would not. So other recommended improvements in this building, though, so with the addition to house the functions of the RHS building, excluding the theater. In no case have we been figuring that you would add a theater to this building because a tornado went through that building over there. Mm -hmm. right? If that happened, if there was a catastrophic fire in that building, I don't see the school district finding a way to build a new theater on here. You'd find a way to house art and music pretty quick, but you wouldn't be putting a new theater on. Yeah, the theater. So, I was going to say that's too well, bad. It right? is, I understand that. Oh, believe me, it's always the first thing we cut. Dance, actually, dance first, then theater, then it works up through music. Oh, no. it, it went to sleep, and I, I see it here, but it didn't wake up there. I don't know if you turn it off and turn it back on. Yeah, or we'll try that. Let's see if it's the go-to first. Right, that's right. That's what my IT people tell me. Well, we can keep talking. Yeah. We really yeah. weren't looking at yeah. that anyway. Yeah. So then there's the ADA upgrades that we've spoken about with the bathrooms and the drinking fountains. Um, there's some roof insulation. Just a quick question, drinking yep. fountains. Is it actually a, an entirely new fountain, or is it level? The code requires that you have bi-level drinking fountains, one here and one here. And you have one, yeah. so we need to do the other. Gotcha. And a lot of it is dependent on your local code official who's going to be doing the inspections. But, it, you know, again, it's an ADA issue and it's a complaint-based system that if, as soon as you have a student in here who needs that, you're going to be doing it. Especially if their parent is vocal and, and, and being an advocate for their, their student. Right. Um, and they're going to have every, every piece of law and righteousness on their side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they do. And they, they, they absolutely they do, do exist, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, so building envelope improvements, you know, including roof insulation. This isn't looking good, is it? No, it's coming. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Just keep hitting the same button. You got to show your DVD player off again, do you? Oh, right. Did you do that? I'm trying to have a lot. Computers. Okay. So there's some roof insulation here that when you redo the roof, we're thinking that you should do that. That's on this entire building. Is that right, Polly? Yes. Yeah. This whole building went. And that's one we did not determine how old this roof is. Mm -hmm. So once that's determined. Has, then did we, anybody go up? Yeah. Yeah. There's someone PC, right? Isn't that the one with the USB? PC. Good memory, I think. Mm -hmm. No. Breathe on it. 
I was just a question. How, what's above? Do you know what's above this, like hanging ceilings and stuff? Structure? Yeah, I mean, is there how much space? Is there just. Um, offhand, I don't recall. Mm -hmm. um, there's this is the newer wing of the building, too. Not yeah, this oh, is that's the new right. Gotcha. There, yeah. So, is there insulation in this newer wing? Sure. On top, I, we are assuming there is insulation on top of the deck based on what we have seen in the documents. I have not gone up there. And oh, okay. Gotcha. It might be worth. You know, when we get to that point of saying, hey, the roofing's getting old, then we get someone in here to cut a core in the roof and patch it. Mm -hmm. We didn't do any destructive testing right. for this if evaluation. The, right. If the roof isn't leaking and whatnot, I wouldn't, I wouldn't tear it off and put new insulation on right. to do that. So I do know there were some leaks, okay. like the, right by the secretary's office. Right. That there was leaking ice dams. Right. There's issues. ice dams in that area mm -hmm. perpetually. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. But does that warrant redoing the whole roof or just redoing that section? It's worth finding out how old this roof is and having someone, you know, this summer, you know, honestly, when I was doing most of my checking, there was snow everywhere. So this summer, now that it's, you know, melted off and you can actually get someone up there to look at it. I think that's Bonnie's plan, too. To go and check how things are looking, if it's looking worn, and if we have any idea when it was put on. And that's you guys that are going to do that, or there, we're just we going to look at hiring hire somebody? Contractor. To hire a contractor. Hire a contractor. roofer really to yeah. get a better assessment of what yeah. the, okay. how, how much life is left. Better off with the We'd be better off to come up and try to peek above the ceiling and yeah. see if there's a reason we can figure out why you're getting ice dams right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So. But uh, with a roof like this, adding, you know, adding a layer of insulation on top before you put your mm -hmm. layer of membrane mm -hmm. on is the easy way. That's the yeah. time to do it. That's why we included it in here, as opposed to like Stockbridge, where the insulation is at the ceiling, so they work kind of independently. Here, insulation goes with roofing. Gotcha. So, yeah. and that's the case at the high school as well, because it's membrane insulation goes with roofing. So the other thing which you didn't have to worry about at Stockbridge, because it's such a small building, is, is the sprinkler system. But here, if you put an addition on this building, it is likely going to trigger the need to put a sprinkler system in the entire building. Now that sounds horrible at first, I and mean, we all kind of take a <gasps> Well, the good news here is that you have a, you have a town water supply. You've got partial sprinkler, si sprinkler system at the high school already. So we know that there's water here that you could run right. So it's really just the cost of the pipes and whatnot. You don't need giant storage tanks and hundred thousand dollars or so pumps and, and whatnot. Yeah, but these, that doubles. Out of a million. So yeah, yeah, yeah. true. Right. That, that's that's, 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 that's two or three times that if you have to put in the storage tanks and the uh, pumps and the generator to make sure that the pump works when you need it and all that. So. Um, that's a piece here, and then there's the uh, the heating and ventilation system has some some significant needs in this building, which are are highlighted in the sheet. Yeah, this sheet. Yeah, as you can <laughs> see, but this building has the original steam heating system. It gets um, changed to hot water here where we are, but that old end is still running on steam, which is going to. And there's harder. not two furnaces here. There's just the one furnace over there. The one and it's going to get harder and harder to maintain. So they are suggesting the whole thing, system, the right. distribution and all. Is this one the pneumatic? pneumatic? Uh, more than one of these schools has pneumatic controls. Which is a very old school way of doing that. that you I think controls at all three schools are due for replacement. Right. So at this Which point. Which is like your actual thermostat, you mean, or the? The distribution yeah. and pumps and. Yes, it's what t tells you that it's too cold and it right. turns the heat on and whatnot. And it's all done via when the, the thermos on the wall senses that you need heat. It, mm -hmm. it, it's an air pressure piece that, that kind of then changes and moves, goes back to the boiler and has it turn on and open a valve and whatnot. The pneumatics, but what we would recommend is a DDC system that you would then have a computer interface and you would be able to monitor the temperature of every room in the building off of your screen and it would 
you know. And it would right. send out alarms. It, right. It would, it would buzz, it would buzz the, 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 the facility manager's phone and, 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 and trigger an app. And With whoever's phone you tell it to tell. You know, you can call it to, <laughs> Which? to go to Lindy every time. You're talking to someone who lives in a house that's like kept at 57 degrees. Uh -huh. so. All right, well, you can go to Bruce. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> because I don't know why he wants to do that. 76. <laughs> I don't want another switcher. I was so just thinking, uh, just, a, just a thought. We didn't have much of a honeymoon after passing our budget, do we? <laughs> no? So th those are the, those are the no, main things that we found at this building that right? yeah. need to be improved. So just like we did before, if you go through that chart, you'll see the So as I go through the chart, it will tell us more about that heating system. Yes. And then when I read the book, it'll even yes. dive in yes. deeper yes. about yeah. that. But we'll include in our, in our report, we'll include the engineer's report. Yeah, right. Which I just so I know where I'm going to go to yes. re right. look at, because this is, you're going to have to sit down and digest this. Oh, yes. And sure. then, yeah. I mean, well, this is just the beginning yes. of a And then we're going to have to this communicate. This is the summary of the summary. This is the summary of the summary. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's the thing, communicating it and make up a, an opinion. Yeah. Because we have this single big question. Mm -hmm. right. It's looming in front of us. Right. So well, actually, there's two. No, there's two questions that are the big questions. So then we looked at the same program that we were looking at in this building and said, "How would that work in your other building on this site?" And I guess we can move forward now with that projector. Yes. Is it right so there? <laughs> so that, that is actually on the bottom. It starts of at the bottom of this the, page. the, the okay. middle page. RHS. That's RHS. Cool. Yep. So if the elementary moves to, the, all right, so the high priority items in that building, electrical distribution equipment are an old type of panel that had issues with code officials many years ago, and then there are lots of problems, and they don't make them anymore. And, and we point, still got them. You <laughs> have, well, you're not alone. Um, and again, you know, right now you're fine, it works, but as soon as you need to change things around and put in new circuit breakers that are not really available and these are have been questionable in other places so whether you have the good ones and the okay the okay ones or the bad ones you don't know until it's too late question um do you have some sense of schools across other schools you've worked on or schools across the state how many other schools have stuff like this too that they are just sort of we keep finding them <laughs> so yeah, after yeah. we find them then they usually replace them oh okay they when do, they do, do a project when them, they do right. that yeah i think uh -huh. we just did that in berlin as well for example um, but there's going to be fewer and fewer of them um, so that's there um, in addition when we talk about the battery for the emergency lights and exterior emergency lights the oil tank mixing valves on two water heaters this time um, and the backflow preventer. So again, these, these are really not too big a li list here other than those electrical panels. That's probably the only really big thing right there. Um, and again, you can keep that going. It's, it's working fine now. We're just trying to highlight to you that that's a potential mm -hmm. issue. There. If you move to the, the elementary program over to the high school building yeah. en masse, right, completely, and you moved out of this building. We're talking about your bathrooms over there need a lot of work. Uh, you do have some accessibility issues at the stage and the back half or where the music room is right now. Um, mm -hmm. you, you could be on September, August 26th next fall, you could be not using that room for music because there's, you've got a student who... There's no ADA accessibility to that space at all. Unless yeah. they come from the outside, right? On the side. Do they, no, they have the elevator there, but no. No. Oh, oh they have to come in the outside. You can come yeah. into the music room from the oh, back. Oh, the very door. far back side. That right. where the C boxes are for the players. Isn't there the, that there's door? No, there's no paved access to that door. Right. So they're right. from any, so if you came even out of the tech room, you're going across a gravel parking lot right. to get to the music room. And if you come in and cross on the paved walkway, you go in that room and you have to go up four steps. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. There is an elevator at the stage level, or there was at one point. There was at one point. I don't there think was it was there. There was at one point. I, I think it's been I'm moved I wonder if we got flooded out when the. That's probably um, what happened and it never got replaced. Okay. But we got you. So. Anyway, that's something you, you would want to think about, especially if you were moving in there permanently and this building was going to now be the, the Rochester Elementary School, you really should address that. Um, 
And so there's some building envelope improvements there, like roof insulation and whatnot. And that's the roof we know how old that is. Is that right? No. We don't. We don't. Oh, it's Stockbridge. We know how old Stockbridge, we know. Yeah. Um, it's within a certain range. Right. It'd be great as you move forward to keep really good records on when you make improvements to the buildings. This will help. I <laughs> keep them in a file cabinet that doesn't get I thrown out. I keep them in an electric <laughs> file that everybody can access on your network. And, and that is out. one of the big things that Bonnie, to start this study out, to be able to get a baseline, to be able to create yep. a document mm -hmm. to go forward with. Right. So, uh, just a oh yeah. so you say about records, so um, like the roof issue over there, mm -hmm. you, you don't have records? You have there, records? Because yeah, I know. Because we, we haven't that, talked to the right person who knew when that roof was replaced yet. so many asbestos issues with that roof yeah. and over and over and over. But I remember in my time living no here, records. they've replaced, they've done new roofing on that roof since I moved here in 93. That's already, 20, that's already 26 <laughs> years ago. No, it isn't. <laughs> that would mean I'm that much older. Yeah, I know. I, know. Okay. I got the I'm same sure. problem. But <laughs> I, I don't oh, shut up. Well, <laughs> Kevin Doherty was the, and yeah. I, I gave this information to Bonnie, I believe, that when Kevin Doherty was the um, custo head custodian mm -hmm. here, he did the project to put the new roof on. Yeah, that's what I meant. So it was right when I was teaching here. Yeah. yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So, again, but he said that was 30 years ago, and it was a 30-year roof they put on. Right. So. 30-30. We think it might be on, be beyond its useful life, but we're not certain. Right. It's, so again, at some point, it's it's going to. I mean, just because you're not using it does not well, change the wear and tear on the roof. It was also bit. leaking last winter, mm -hmm. as we knew right. by then. So it would be a great time if you were going to. So it just means it's a good time to be making these decisions. Well, this is what we need to know, so exactly. as we go right. forward, so we know it's what likely, we're for. It's yeah. likely That's that you need point. to replace right. that roof, and then now would be the time to upgrade any wet insulation that's there. Make sure you've got the right depth of insulation on the roof. It's going to make it nice and airtight, um, and you'll have a pretty good building out. Did you see the air? gaps in the yes. roof fence in the theater? Mm -hmm. uh, in the theater? No, I saw the ones in the mezzanine. Because we went up in the uh, lifts uh, up to do work in there for yeah. one of the shows, and you could see, as I was looking at the rear vents, you could see mm -hmm. the sky. Right. Well, it's good that there's vents in there. Airflow. Because <laughs> you need, you, in, a, in a theater, and, and it used to be a big party place. <laughs> it's big major party spots for the high schoolers. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. So moving on. Yes. Sir. <laughs> so again, there's no, some. it's a major. Some there's some areas where the engineer felt that you know your your lighting was a little low. I think they were. Yeah, they were concerned that the bulbs were had dimmed over time, so it's just a matter of re Would you recommend people. changing over to complete LED? We talked about that with our engineer, and while we, that is a fine idea, but if you are looking for payback, don't expect it to do much. The lighting you have is actually fairly efficient and reasonably good condition, so. There are other reasons to switch. You know, with an LED light, you can dim yeah. them very nicely, yeah. and no, you can, if you want to spend enough money, you've got that same control system that we talked about for the heating system can also be extended to some of the lighting systems that can be automatically controlled. It doesn't sound like a priority. It's on not necessarily. Paper, you did list it, and it's on the sort of high, you know, the higher end. But, and sometimes if you talk with, say, Efficiency Vermont, mm -hmm. you can get some really good rebates on there, and that could bring the cost down to the point where right. there is a better payback, yes. and it is worthwhile doing because it, you're kind of paying a certain amount of money to get that dimmability. And are you talking about um, replacing the bulbs with LEDs, or are you talking that you have to replace the whole fixture to be able to take the you LED? You can bulbs. replace the bulbs, but those are not the best yeah. LED. Yeah. Light I've sources. been talking about this for Spice, and they've just Phillips is just about to come out with a dimmable and no, you don't have to change. You actually don't right. use the ballast. Right. Oh, okay. And it's so a dimmable, the right. dimmable and, light. And again, so the, the first version of those are going to be lousy. Yeah. But a cool idea. They're getting a lot better. And they're going to get before. better and better. And yeah. if you wait long enough, you might be able to do that. But right it is now, literally changing, like, by the month right yeah. now. So but like, you've identified like, specific areas in the high school building that have um, lamps that are dim that would need new lighting, what but they, it's not the whole building. Uh, with, well, so the engineers went through and looked around and said, it appears that your light, I assume they had a meter, but I don't know. It appears that the light levels in the building are low. 
Was that at 55? Was that the temperature? Right. That might make because I know fluorescence is definitely, on for that is fluorescence definitely, definitely is effect. that it could be that they've been cold and they didn't have enough time to warm up. And if you sat there and warmed them up for a while, or if they were at 68 or but, 65 yeah. or whatever, okay. yeah. but something to, to but be aware it was of. Something gotcha. to be aware of that you may need to do some work on the lights there. Mm -hmm. um, right. So then there's the sprinkler system. Yes. Now, the, when you would, when we had talked last time, you had said that there was only a sprinkler system above the shop. Yes. Now, um, Bonnie, did Bonnie talk to you afterwards or Lindy about the, 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 the sprinkler system in the mezzanine? Yeah. In the mezzanine of the um, main school building. The, uh, school. Above you all the classrooms in the, the mezzanine. mezzanine. System. They told us not to touch the ceiling because there's asbestos in it. But there is, there, you can see them, you can see Yeah, them. so, okay, there are, I know that there's, I think there's also sprinkler heads on the that was, stage. That was one of the big no, issues. No, but I'm talking about right the actual, there. like the main classroom area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There, my, um, I thought that there was sprinklers. That's what I, I thought. Because it was this I big issue them, when we talked to Ploof about turning down the heat. Right. They said that was the biggest issue about oh, not right. shutting it the down because you had these full high pressure right. pipes all over the building. Positive pressure. Positive right. pressure that had mm -hmm. to be kept up mm -hmm. and you couldn't mm -hmm. just drain it all. Right. So if there's some in the mezzanine, then that would be true, okay. even if it was just in the mezzanine. Um, right. Above all those classrooms. Right. But I, I don't recall seeing or noticing any sprinkler heads in those classrooms in that way. I don't think she said the classroom. I, I, think, I, yeah, I could imagine it was up in the spring. I, I can I could see why it would be in the in that um, upper area. upper area as a second story yeah. and it's storage area over a certain number of square feet. I so is that not sufficient for classrooms is to have the floor above sprinkler? No. You need every every space. You know, in this room you'd have a, a pipe that ran this way, a row of sprinkler heads there, and you probably have six or eight sprinkler heads in this room. Auditorium shop and Okay, that's it. Okay. So, but I mean, the good news is, is that you have sprinkler entrance there, and the pipes are there, and you've got water, and it's just a matter it's of expanding a system. It's not building right. one from scratch. It's, it's feasible to do that. I mean, some places you say, oh, Yo, you have to sprinkle it, and there's there's no water to be had, and there's yeah. there's no infrastructure there. And you guys at least have that here. Right. So, um, just a quick question. So, all these bullet points on this suggested, recommended. Mm -hmm. um, once we go to the final version, there will be a two, three, or four by one of these. Or are these all number two? Well, you'll you'll have this chart right here that that has columns. Every single thing. So no, no. I'm just curious. Is this second list of bullet points? All the are these the twos that no, you found? It's, 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 it's a combination. It's a combination. I mean, you know, again, the priority, uh, the identification of the priority it. level is, is also a very subjective right. gotcha. kind of thing. These are gotcha. twos and threes. Gotcha. These are and two, there are the threes. bigger the, twos and threes. The ones on the back side here are, are the, 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 the yeah. ones that the yeah, these that are we went over threes. first are the ones that are like, one, we, one, these are number one, one, right. one gotcha. two, maybe a couple twos. That's what I'm just trying to make sense. So that we, because, you know, and this is how, because we're going to have to obviously prioritize, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Once we make the big so, decisions. so it really, I would say that that first list are, are ones and maybe a couple twos. Okay. The next list are ones, twos, and probably some threes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is twos and threes. Right, but it's also going to include the ones when you get yeah, to that you'd column. Yeah, have to have that as well. Right. Yeah. yeah. Got you. Um, okay. So um, again, you're looking at boilers, leaks, and distribution system there. Um, like in but pipes. here you've got at least a distribution system that is mostly intact. Right. Ventilation system needs to be replaced. Sorry, how many boilers are in the I there are two in the high school. Two. And both of them need to be replaced? They're, or are they the, they're currently there working, but they could break down at any time? There are <coughs> two oil boilers in the building. They're original to the building, 1974, are in our, and are at the end of their useful life. So they're still working. Okay. And if you wanted, you could wait and wait till they break and then replace them. <laughs> um, or you can try to get a hold of the cur boiler. curve if right. you're asking people for money to kind of really mm -hmm. put that building on a path that we're going to spend this money and now we're going to have an, ele a, a, an elementary school building there for the next 40 years. Right. But just, so you know, Ed, the, we have so much to talk mm -hmm. about, but just so we, yep. as we talk, we can say we're going to use this building. We know that right. these two boilers are going to need to be replaced. Right. We're right. You're right. right. That sounds There's a question. Yeah. Yeah, so with the older boilers, they can be uh, redesigned to be wood chip oriented or natural gas oriented by using the old boilers with uh, add-ons taken apart.
warrants on. I mean, that's a whole area to be investigated. For efficiency. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, I believe that they did. It's we all in the line item by line item. Right. 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 So right. right. We have summary. talked about that. I mean, we would say you should think about that here. And you, you know, normally we'd have a boiler and a backup boiler, so that if one goes down. You're, you still get to have school that day. Right. Um, and, you know, we would size them so that each one, you know, can handle like, you know, 80 or 90 percent of the coldest day of the year. So that on those coldest days, you have to kick the second one on. And if one of them is broken during that day, it's either a little cold in there or something else. And then you should even think about having two different fuel sources for those. Mm -hmm. So if one is, is, uh, is an oil and the other one is a wood pellet, now you can look at what the cost is. Uh, you know, comparatively. You know, we have school districts we're working with, or we have been work, uh, worked with, that right now, they're mostly along the Vermont gas pipeline. The cost of natural gas has gone down so much that it is competitive with wood chips and wood pellets. <coughs> we have some big schools up there in the Jimmy <coughs> County <coughs> area that are the actually, cost it costs them the gas. same to burn natural gas right now as the wood chips. Because they have the, the gas line there. They have yeah, the exactly. Line. But you're not, you're not there, and if you were using LP here, when you wouldn't even be talking about it. But if you've got oil in, in pellets, you can kind of see what's, mm -hmm. what's more expensive than right. So And like um, Linda just said, information about the, the wood pellet and, and those things are actually in the more detailed because I believe you had talked about it all before. I don't you recommended it, like an alternative. Well, we, we can add that line in here if you'd like. If it's yeah. not in here we already. I remember we talked. Well, we talked about okay. having an alternative one yes. similar to. And um, right, because you mentioned about the wood yeah. chips that that we are too. Did you say that we are too small to, to have a wood chip? Yeah. Right. Though I've heard probably since we had that conversation <laughs> uh, yeah. that there are systems out there now that will take wood chips uh, that are kind of the wet wood chips and handle them much like a pellet. Um, but I'm not sure that that's worthwhile or not. Um, but anyway, we like encouraging people to think about kind yeah. of those um, cool. other, other fuel sources. Here, yeah. You have a lot of wood around here. Yes, yes we do. Yeah. Um, we do not have a massive whole tree chipper in town. Though, no, it, but is, pellets. We need, we can create employment. Yeah, that's true. Right. Anyway, but pellets are pretty pretty reliable these it days. It does seem to me that this is boilers and something like this is actually a one. Well, like, like he said, this is working now. Not. So but, it's in the high school. Though. So let, let's well, but I'm let's saying, jump, let's jump through here and kind of put yeah, that right, everything on the list yeah, for you. Yeah, I just, we can look at the details. Can prioritize. Oh, okay. This right. is just a, no, I know. A, I'm just, mm, I just okay. wanted to throw that particular yeah. one out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's always things you can decide not to do. Um, the, and then the, the end here after the, the control system that we mentioned are, these are some of the key renovations that we were suggesting to kind of make that building work for the elementary school. And Polly may have gone over this the last time she was yeah. here, mm -hmm. yeah. of turning that shop mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. a cafeteria, or not into a, well, yeah, yeah. cafeteria yeah. and gym space, or not yeah. gym, but PE. PE. Did yeah. you look at the, um, the flood plane there and the flood mitigation? Yeah. Yeah. Is, that, yeah. is, that got flooded in our view. The it's in the day. hundred year, yeah. The shop yeah. and art room and, and the so we yeah. won't and put theater. a nice wood floor in there. No. Mm. <laughs> um, we did yeah. talk a little bit about that um, with our civil engineer. Right, we were talking about is there stuff we should I'm be doing outside if you, the back of that? Or if you don't need to raise that whole area That's up if you're going to be using right. it. So there's there's possibilities to say. So what you've got is your lowest point in this building, from what I. No, is here, which is where you had the worst flooding, right? At the front of the, sta at the, front of the auditorium. And then the next is this, mm -hmm. at the bottom of this ramp. So. Yeah, so there's a berm that comes up right about there. I remember I looked at that. Mm -hmm. And this area tends to flood whether it needs to or not, just because the grading is so flat and it doesn't have any. And to there's all the roofs are draining right. that way. So I think one of our key items is to regrade this just to get you know like this winter this was flooded and there was no need of that one thing during irene to be <coughs> this winter so regrading that um to actually deal with this though gets a little more complicated mm -hmm. we didn't dive too far into that um the, the uh, 
spoilers for the Terminarine? Mm -hmm. I, I think they did. Probably. I think they must have. Because they're at the same level as, or no, no, no this no, room, it higher. slopes higher. down, so it's they're slightly the top, higher. Yeah, 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 it only slopes higher. down a little bit, so yeah, there, it might not have. Something too. It might have just been here. Something so we can look up. at trying to um, do work on the outside wall. We can look at doing some berming or retaining mm -hmm. out here. Mm -hmm. um, if we do a little add-on to make this accessible, we can add some flood proofing measures to that, which is kind of a nice opportunity to do two things at once. Which would take care of more flooding that you look, what you're saying, the measures it would be help. for. Yeah, help. this would be, I, I mean, I don't know that we're going to do anything here that's going to say, hey, if the rain hits again, we're high and dry. Mm -hmm. But, and again, pontoons, doing... put the whole thing up on pontoons. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, you can look at raising your floor in here and bring it all up to this level. That yeah, is yeah. another possibility. It's and the possibility is to say, we're going to do a material in here that can take it. So that if it gets wet in here, it's going to dry. Mm -hmm. So there's there are possibilities. And as you look at it, you know, if you look at saying we're going to make a, a cafeteria out of this. And certainly if you look at putting a kitchen in here, we need to look at whether we want to raise it up yeah. or so did, barricade it in. Did you look at, um, you're talking about just structurally, it w was it in your scope to look at the land behind it, if there's anything we should be doing to change the landscape behind it to help protect? Well, and you That's, yeah, I, yeah, under the site work there is, um, there's stormwater. Mm -hmm. um, there are things we'll have to do for stormwater for just your... I mean, the berm, especially if we're not using some of these playing fields, a significant berm along there is not a, a dike, essentially. Mm -hmm. It's not, not a question. Well, of course, we have to make the decision that that is the primary building, because this building sits wonderfully high up. In comparison. As far as one, in right. comparison. This is right. 500 year, I'm pretty sure. Part of the Irene situation is the farm is up, and it helped to create the water flow to come to the building. Uh, um, very good. And, but the oil tank is was underwater, wasn't it? I mean, it's underground and it was in the wet zone. So it got wet. It probably was, but mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. but no, is our oil tanks and such marked on on these um, drawings or anything? No. no. Um, right. So again, you know, there are berms that you could put up there. I mean, it, it just. Right. Is, is Irene going to happen again? I, I don't know. Yes. Some yeah. year will, but I mean, oh. we had we had significant flooding this spring. Right. But yeah. did it come into the auditorium? Uh, no, but it. It, it came into the shop, though. <laughs> it came into that back area. Yeah. It did. Well, yeah, it, that's yeah. this issue. It's it's not right. a, the, that one is relatively elevation. easy because as you go out the back of that building, it goes down a pretty good hill. So there's really no that's reason you couldn't issue, capture, yeah. the, grade this away from the building so there's a low spot in the middle, and then then a pipe or something even that, that drains it right over oh, over that hill. There's, you've got the elevation here to drain that courtyard. I'm not sure why it doesn't do that. I think <laughs> somebody said there was a drainage system that was damaged. There definitely is a, a, a there's a hole there that got crushed or something. Right. Right. So, so. Th that one is easier. The harder one is the river coming up. Right. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. not, when the water not is up to, to that there. elevation, then it comes down to flood barriers. And mm -hmm. that's, is. yeah. Yep. Okay. So. All good information. Right. So, yep. so that, that's certainly that something, something to weigh. When you yep. say here or there, that's another exactly. piece to the puzzle. So, um, so now is. In addition, we're talking about changing the art room into the kitchen and the other classrooms and whatnot to kind of, and I think Polly probably went over that plan with you a little bit. Yeah. So now here's where you get a lot of kind of moving parts and variables, right? If you're going to use Rochester Elementary School as the elementary school, this building here, you've got the minimum renovation cost of a million three to the over five million that we're saying it'd be suggested to kind of bring this up to a project if we were going to really go through there and give you a nice new updated right. modern yard. facility when you're finished oh, not new small. but you know but, but darn close at the same time if you do that there are you now have a building over, over there, there <laughs> um, which is sitting there and you have to do something with it so you either are going to do some minimal amount to kind of put it into mothballs or 
you, we're, we're still saying that you might want to think about using the gym right there as some kind of a community space. Because no, you mean theater. theater. Or, 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 I'm sorry. You keep the theater. Right, you get to, I'm, I get this mixed which up. Is, yeah. it's, 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 it's the same thing when we reverse this. But you, you saw the theater that you're probably going to want to keep using to some extent. So what are you going to do to that building? To, to be able to keep using it or to maintain it in use. Right, and so maybe you're talking about in use as a community theater, right. not as, as the school, school theater, right. school right. district. So and maybe ownership gets transferred to someone else or right. maybe it right. doesn't. And and this is a getting rid, letting go of that building right. and, and the programming use of that building. Right. You're talking about the community right. theater. Right. And it's really hard right. to predict That's that until there's a conversation here that yes. gives us some idea of what you're thinking right. about. We, we, right. Is right. So is this well, the first bullet? Well, second, by, second bullet. This second is, bullet. This is, is, yeah. This is by, the terms, of, by the terms of our merger, and I think it's pretty standard here. across the state, um, if we decided to, 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 to do something with those buildings, you know, the town has uh, the the town of Rochester has the right to buy the building from us for a dollar, mm -hmm. and work that's been done. And then, if they decided to dispose of it, work that the school district had paid for in the last five years, the town has to, to reimburse the the, the the school for. So the idea right, is so if we had done renovations and just to right. get rid of the building mm -hmm. to be done with it, but to be nice about mm -hmm. having a space for somebody to use then if they we'd give it to the town and then if the town sold right. it they would have to pay right us so back for so the, the the real point we're making here is that when you look at okay if we're going to to use this building don't forget to add in what's going to have to happen over there for right. whatever you do right. and those are both really the second and third both and the third, because you said keep gym wing and you meant that theater. Really theater ring. Auditorium or theater. Yeah, right. I, theater I think wing. you labeled them oh, right. wrong because yeah. the RES devolution, you keep I'd the already, theater wing. I'd already crossed that off. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That was, that's, so that's on me. so when you say when so the renovations on of the three fifty to, to three point three million, that's just these are the things. When you say that the, the three hundred thousand uh, dollar renovation over there, that's the things that have to be done. That's the the, the, the and stuff. Again, that, and that's in that's our chart the, here too, where we kind of identify what those things are, and and it's just like priority one. trying to figure out what that scope is. Is that's why I want to give this to you as an Excel spreadsheet. Because that's right. why this works. Because it's like the electrical when, when you know when you have somebody saying, you know, "Well, do we really need to do those books?" Well, you don't have to, and you can make that decision. And you don't put them in this column. You know? yeah. and every one of you guys could take that spreadsheet home and do your column and put your name on it and then compare them. Yeah. Um, that, that may be, well be a worthwhile exercise. So you know, so th and we we're just putting out on the table. You know, that it's possible you just tear that building down, or yeah. you tear down half of it. Mm -hmm. And you know, and if you kept, if you tore down the classroom portion and kept the theater wing, which uh, you mean um, just the auditorium, or you're talking about that whole? If we tore down all of this, yeah, but and left, kept all of this, kept all. Of, that's what I wanted right. to make so sure. So you've I was got saying. your theater. Yeah. You've got the boiler room. Yeah. You've got. That the shop rooms. that's down there for whatever reason. Right, you've, got the rooms, shop and, you've got a couple right. of rooms. I mean, that could be some kind of a space. community center right. altogether. Right. Um, makers, what do they call that? Maker space. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, you, yeah, I mean, for like community. To somebody in. signs a waiver, just let them in there and use the tools. I mean, right. I'd love that. Uh, <laughs> exactly. I don't have to buy them all. Um, so, okay. so, so that's that piece. And then we reverse that. The next set of bullets here. If the if the elementary school program moves to the, the high school building, you've got the same. You know, the minimum number is a little higher over there because you've got yeah. some more, some of those needs that we talked about and the sprinkling and, and whatnot. Um, sprinkling roof boilers. Boilers and the ventilation and whatnot. So, and the windows over there are horrible. Um, so, uh, you know, but the interesting thing is that and we didn't do that on purpose. You know, we <laughs> filled out the say. scope that we were recommending and then we looked at what the cost came to. And it came out very similar to about five and a half million dollars. Um, then you've got the, what, what do you have to do in this building? And so somehow the minimum came out less, um, but the, the bigger number is not that much different either um, here. And again, we, we look at this and, and think about this as a community building as well. I mean, I can't imagine that you would want to get rid of this gym. I mean, the that's a, the right. community, I mean, even the school. I can imagine that there are times when the PE classes may want to come over to the gym, but when it's 
10 degrees below zero and the wind is howling, which it probably does. You do not want that. That first grade teacher does not want to get nine kiddos or a dozen kiddos no, into mittens and coats. But and at some point in the year, you might have a unit where the fifth and sixth graders are, are, are going over there just as a matter of course, because it's a bigger space. And, and it takes some of the pressure off of that multi-purpose PE classroom it's also your cafeteria and your faculty meeting room and whatever else thing that's going to happen in there certainly there's plenty of schools out there um, the one i think of is uh, st johnsbury academy they walk to everything mm -hmm. and then that's Craftsbury really academy cold, does that. wicked cold up mm -hmm. there so mm -hmm. having separate buildings is not completely it's not, but for it's elementary students, for it's a lot harder for little kids. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, St. John's Bay Academy, their high schoolers, they don't wear coats anyway. <laughs> so they show up in shorts yeah. and flip flops. They don't wear coats anyway. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, you know, I need mean, LI, that Linden Institute is right at the road from them. Mm -hmm. Craftsbury has got Cabot multiple School buildings. Cabot is. Right. And, yeah. they, and I think we're talking about the thing with the elementary schools. Yeah, it's kind of pulled up an outdoor we program. We can see it being repurposed <laughs> to town offices. Mm -hmm. You right. know, um, you could see or it being repurposed a lot easier than the high school building being yes, repurposed. Yes, absolutely. This. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This absolutely. It could even I mean, I could see, I bet this wing that, right here would fit the town offices so pretty nicely without me moving hardly yeah. any walls. Yeah. Right? There's yeah. lots of small rooms. It's, it's the, big, the, the biggest I thing that I would think to, is you would want right, to uh, improve and, 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 and make the, the locker rooms. Uh, larger and more accessible because right. right and that's the other thing is that this building is one that's designated has the generators designated as an emergency shelter mm -hmm. and that's right. partially because it's got the kitchen and it's got the the gym, gym space. the big space the big but space the, and yeah. you can set up the and cots you the item there to say if you want to make locker rooms changing rooms for that purpose of the emergency shelter because i understand that the students don't really need it Right. right. But as an emergency shelter, having a couple showers and maybe even a washer and dryer. Right, which we could, but I could see working in coordination with the um, shelter team, mm -hmm. there is probably funding to do that type of, of stuff. Right. Um, now, I'm sorry, go ahead, finish. The other thing I, I was, you brought up the generator, and what about um, the high school? If, if we moved into the high school, then the generator is not powering that high school correct right. we're not playing on that if I mean, you could you could pick it up and move it or just run a wire over there into the electrical system that, but, and, but it would it, take some money to do that but that that, that generator could power the could be re retro fitted to power the um that other building i don't know that it could power both at no, the same probably time. Not. Okay. It may not even i mean i don't know whether it powers this entire building right now or not um, I'm not sure. I think there was some discussion when we went through. When, when you say, when you talk about the partial demolition of this building, of the elementary school school building, where do you see that? And keeping the gym, where does that line split approximately? Um, let's just for argument's sake say it splits right around here. And you show all of this. So, 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 so you're, you're getting rid of like yeah. this back half of the building. Yes. Which is so, the newer part, and yes, I know. But right, and it's good to just have it, have the, have the number, and just right. We right. can, and you can do, demo whichever half of the building suits you. But we're assuming that the gym is what you want to keep. You would want to keep, and yeah. you want to keep the bathrooms, even though right. they need to be upgraded. Yeah. But you, you're That's not going to do without them. If you, if you don't upgrade them, you're going to replace. If you, if you, if you, you yeah. just chop them off, you're going to have to find another one. So if you look at a community center and say you've got a gym, yeah. you've got a kitchen, you've got two classrooms and some small rooms that could be locker rooms and offices, it's, it seems pretty usable. Yeah. And we've heard in terms of, you know, a little health clinic kind of a space could fit into, you know, two of these rooms on one side of the corridor and, a, you know, the, the, the town offices or, I, I don't know, the, I right, an activity right. room for the senior right. center. I mean, you could have a, a, lot of, a lot of stuff in there. But right. again, and then there, as far as to renovate it, renovated, and now you're talking about another five million dollars. Right. So who's going to do but that? It might be someone else's. Right. Um, somebody else, but, but that would be a project. That would be a project for sure that would qualify for the rural, rural development grant mm -hmm. funds. That's mm -hmm. it. Um, so, and then, and then obviously, if we did the full de demolition, the 535, mm -hmm. there'd be no need to do any of the 39,000 to 3 million three uh, renovations. No, correct. That's not necessarily yes. true. Oh, 
asbestos. Before you fully demolish a building, you still have to remove all the asbestos before you demolish it. <laughs> so there, so we, we wouldn't be able to completely eliminate that, uh, that renovation line if we completely demolish the building. Right. Well, you, except for the asbestos isn't in that renovation I line. I see. Okay. We haven't included those numbers yet. Ah. <laughs> so. Anyway, again. Yes. Uh, th th that's why. It's a little bit. You know, we're trying to we're trying to give you a. a right. Right. I'm just trying to get. I'm just trying to understand so that, and, that, that when I talk to the. And to, we'd be glad if you wanted us to to kind of you know kind of run a new column of numbers for you or, or make sure that what you're yeah. talking about makes sense or that there's not things that are mutually exclusive or mutually inclusive <laughs> you know if you do this you also have to do that um, so that uh, so then the last paragraph there to maintain the status quo so meaning okay thank you for all this information we're going to talk about it right. and some people talk about it and talk about it and talk about it and they don't do anything we're you know, we're saying that at least fifty-seven thousand dollars in work we needed at RES and sixty-two at the high school. Just to really lose the to kind of make sure that it's safe mm -hmm. and that it meets the codes, and that you're not, you know, the mixing valves and things like that. So, again, that's what one hundred and nineteen total, and no, I'm not sure what that was at Stockbridge. Anymore. One, the, you said the, the, the 140 was highest priority items. So, so you're you saying we're about 300 grand that we're going to need to, right. no matter what, we're going to be, we, we should be thinking about spending 300 grand and we should be thinking about trying to address some of these things this summer. The, yeah. Well, I mean, this summer, I don't think you're going to do that. Okay. Yeah, because it's too late. Yeah. It's too late and you're not going to find any workers. I mean, yeah. maybe maybe you can find a plumber to, to put a couple of dollars in or something like that. Um, but I think you need to really start planning on it. And if it you might means get the tanks inspected this summer, right? Something like that. But it, you know, you certainly could, as you're talking about this now, put a line item in your budget that would allow you to vote on that in March. Or is that when you March? May. 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 Oh, yeah, that's right. You just had your meeting. Yeah. Really nice thing. In May, um, and perhaps, um, you know, or but you know, or your business, business managers are great at printing money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I guess, I guess the big piece is, is that so the, the the asbestos inspection is going to happen this summer, and that's not done yet, correct? We're going to get people up on the roof to, to evaluate that roof now, or were we not? Bonnie has, yeah. Yes, Bonnie told me enough time. Okay. Um, <laughs> we, we can uh, maybe do some of, the, some of the, 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 the plumbing items. We can also think about booking um, some of the, well, we can get the tanks inspected. Mm -hmm. um, Talk to AC, you know, and some of these, some some of these pieces, as you've pointed out, I think are, are not, you know, I, I think it's important that we, we as a board understand, mm -hmm. and I think we can, from your spreadsheet, we can probably get a good idea of it, but we need to, we need to understand, look at the, look at those things and say, which of these things are tied to a renovation or a space improvement or just improving the quality of education versus which of the things need to be done because, you know, the, 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 the tank that's got the leak detection system has a broken leak detection system. Right, right, right. The, um, you know, some of those, the, 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 the panels that, are, that are, a, are a disaster waiting to happen, you know, need to, be, right. need to be at least, I mean, those things I think are not part of a renovation, at least in my mind, and I, certainly this isn't something that, that you would uh, necessarily give us advice on, but some of these things we would want to be booking and not as part of the renovation, but part of just we need to fix this now, and so we right. need to... And to, that's to, most to get of the it items done. that you're going to do no matter what your next decision is. Mm -hmm. The only thing that would suggest that you wouldn't do all these items is if you plan on tearing one of these buildings down. Otherwise, you should do them because you're going to want to do them no matter what else you decide. Yeah. Right. So, you know, and, and I'll put another caveat on that, and that, you know, and I'm thinking about those panels because that's that's a fairly involved piece, and that those things aren't. God, I'm using a double negative. They're, they aren't not working right now, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I Kind of like the that. boilers, right? They, they are at the end of their useful life, but they're still serving you. So if you thought you were going to be doing a bigger project and doing a lot of work there, I would say let those go until you do that. Okay. Right? If you were going to continue to use that building as it is without a lot of other stuff, then then you might want to really more seriously think about kind of chopping that off as a, a, a larger one, a larger piece of the small project. Right, right. I guess, like I said, I was looking at the status quo, saying the 120 grand that we that we absolutely need to, to, to consider spending. I think we need to probably just 
lay that out and put that in right. versus some of the decisions that we need to make yeah. around 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 again, the future planning. You should look at that list as a, in total and really think about each item and say, yeah, that's what I want to do. I mean, you can even do a chart that says 2020, 2021, right. 2022, and do it over three years, and you, now you're asking for hundred thousand dollars. Right. Or you're, yeah, you're you're, you're bonding out up every year. Right. You're bonding out a million and a half right. for phase one. You're bonding out bonding out another another million and a half for phase two. So, but if you have a, if you have a finite list of things that you want to do, now you could put that into your budget and not worry about a bond because you, you don't want to ask for a bond here and another bond in two years and another year bond. You're right. going to do it once. So, but if you start asking for 100000 or I'm just using that number, now and you convince voters that that's something that needs to happen, and they vote for it and they agree, then you have it. And then that starts to, and then you do it again the next year because buildings need maintenance. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and at some point you find that spot where you're actually keeping up. Right. And that's so a, this, then it's good for your buildings. I remember the last thing I wanted to, to, to ask about specifically, and I know you said this is not within your, your scope of designing how that would be, but this is the this is the last thing that really we should be if we could get some someone to deal with that courtyard and, and, and regrading that and draining that. Yes. Because yes. that flood I this, think you could do, I do that. have a plan for that. On the list. <laughs> I think you could do that pretty easily and the, the engineer we had out here I'm sure could help you with so that very quickly. <laughs> I've had a specialist look at it. It's actually a very good place for a swimming pool. There it is. Self-filling. Yo, let's, let's, let's swing for the fences. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Not as a run school. I mean, you know, this is independent, like independent, that. independent fundraising. But that's why I'm waiting for the decision. But yeah, I think that, 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 I I think think that you should be able to regrade in there and get rid of that three-inch puddle of water that's outside that shop room door. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So, we, does anyone else have any uh, any other questions? Well, uh, when do we uh, ex when will we see more documentation? Yeah. Well, I think what I after I was just thinking about that here uh, in the last five minutes is that I'm thinking that you guys are ready for this. <laughs> I want to make a couple of these changes that we talked about here. You know, change, make sure we got gym and theater in the right spots, um, and finalize this and get it to you in some electronic form as well as a paper piece that you can um, print out yourself um, and, 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 and and just wrap that up and, and get that to you in the next couple of weeks. Okay, yeah, that'd that'd be great. Be great. I know, um, right, I, I know for myself I'll definitely want to sit down and take a mm -hmm. voice to digest. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I think you, you, you guys probably, probably want to talk about it all summer. All summer <laughs> long, yeah. take it all oh, even more longer than that. Probably so. Yeah. There's a philosophical part of this that's much bigger than Yes, yes. it is. Right. It is mm -hmm. much bigger. And we're yeah. around if you want to call us up and say we don't understand this i'm right. glad to are you like lawyers do, we, do you charge every time you talk to you <laughs> yes, that's true. Okay. no we're not what? very good about that. oh yeah okay because of the question okay <laughs> just, but by the third it's time the third call from different people <laughs> asking the same, same question topic <laughs> that gets tedious <laughs> <laughs> will you tell us when you start going shishing we'll yeah, start yeah, like right, we will yes. um, but you know right now I, I you know I, this is I think I think we when charge you the right amount of money and, and we're, we're fine and I think I'm hopeful that this is what we advertise for and when and, when do you see once you get us those copies and the mm -hmm. electronic is that when your job is done that's when I would bill you for a hundred percent of my fee. But again, I'm telling you, call me up. I want to. I want to. I want to know what happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to know you. Yeah. And I. And, 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 well, yeah. it, it's it's an interesting it's an interesting problem. It's, it's part of what's well, coming about through the, um, the these forced mergers. I mean, you guys got ahead of the, the game a little bit, and I think it's great. Um, uh, yeah, I, I'm interested to see how this works out. I mean, you've got you 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 made a very difficult decision several years ago to close your high school, or maybe it wasn't that difficult given the enrollment. Oh, but, but I'm sure it was it's emotionally for sure. I mean, for, fiscally it was probably easy, you know. Yeah. But but emotionally, I'm sure it was very difficult. Um, so, but now you have this extra building. And not only that, but part of part of this school's program depends on spaces in there, and part of that building's program depended on spaces in this building. And we have a second campus, and the, that whole community has a vested interest in this now, mm -hmm. which is very different than Rochester dealing with it by just by itself. Right. 
That's right. the other really big problem. Now, I, I can say that, you know, I, other districts that I'm working with that have new, are newly merged, you know, the, the conversation does revolve around, okay, this, this building in this di new district that everyone owns needs some work. But now everybody has to pay for that. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, and, and that's going to be a real test of, of this new union. And at some point then, I hear a lot of people talking about, well, one way to do that is to actually provide improvements at all the buildings in that district so that everyone feels like their, their portion of that is... An unfortunate problem, a lot of Vermont schools are not, they're, they're older, they were built a while ago, you know, so... Mm -hmm. yeah. so you're, you're not alone. I mean, <laughs> you, you are unique in this whole thing of having two buildings on this site to choose from. Yeah. I haven't seen that one in other places. <laughs> cool. <laughs> So anyway, uh, we, we'll you. wrap this up. We'll get it to you. And, okay. and if you need more, call us. If you want copies, whatever, we'll, we'll be glad to help. And if you find typos, we'll fix them. <laughs> or, or if you if you think we need to say something a little differently, you do that. Great. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Leave those. You guys can keep those back. You need to decide where you want to keep those or more copies. Um, and who has the thumb drive? I do. The business manager does. Somebody needs to know where that is, and you may want to put that on your network or something yeah, you know, so that you can share you it. You put it on a computer or more than one place. Oh, yeah. well, I will still have it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> so, did you want any more copies of these or not um, right now? Yes, sure. there's people not here. Yeah. Bonnie's not yeah, here. I took the two board members. members so. Yeah. But Bruce didn't. Yeah, take for everybody else. I took the yeah. two board members. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if you're just going to recycle them when you get back. I'm just going to recycle them when you get back. Leave them all here. Right. Same and we with, can make sure everybody has same with those. before we recycle. Yeah. Those are easy for you to make copies of. All right. Good. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's very nice to uh, spend some time with you. meet all of you guys. Yeah. Take a two-minute bathroom break. Or? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And I, I'll just I put one last plug in, and she doesn't know I'm going to say this. It's been great working really with Lindy. Oh, She's okay. really been a, a, a lead person here, a contact for, for Polly and I. Clue. I don't doubt that at all. No, not at Other than I know where the septic tank is now. <laughs> I know the last time it was drained. You, I know that you. three years before when it was drained, they didn't drain the solids. Just the fluids. Um, okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> is that in the bill? Or they <laughs> fluids only or something? They just. I don't know. Just, if we have that's very nice. Thank you. Thank you. It's like getting a blood transfusion, so, platelets yeah. only. <laughs> so they showed up, and you know, thankfully my brother-in-law's a plumber, so he works with a lot of other people. But I was like, we're getting told we have to put a camera down and look at, and I'm like, and I'm just seeing lots of dollar signs. <laughs> I need some help, and so we were able to kind of place that in Brandon, and they came over, and they're like, so last time this was trained, it wasn't done. So oh, that was wow. a huge part of the drainage problem. Then Thank you, guys. Thank you, Zach. Over Steph, Steph Colton's room. Mm -hmm. If you go outside and you look, there's been, there were three birds' nests down in there that was causing like, was, yeah. So they went down, they pulled those out. Oh, then they no. just had to sneak some other stuff. And of course, you, it's elementary school. You find some interesting things <laughs> when you sneak, <laughs> when you sneak anything. And or they're, they're, you know, pulling the stuff that, pumping thing out and we had said K through six was at Silver Lake and I'm watching him and I'm like Janet I'm like don't don't push it on my playground <laughs> but it was things that shouldn't have been in the second tank either <laughs> like you know little figurines and other stuff and I was like what are you doing that's the last thing I need that group to come back for my field trip like, yeah, I think it's a scavenger hunt <laughs> oh looky <laughs> like, my, my older brother, brother had a Batman like that <laughs> it had the one ear chewed off <laughs> <laughs> it probably was your little brother, you know what I mean? And I'm just going, and they're like, no, that's just the stuff that can't go in the waste thing. And I was like, oh, that's not what it looked like from afar. Mm. Uh, these are copies for Bonnie. Okay, thank you. This is her copy pile. I get going in here. She wanted Paula's nice too. All right. All right, are you ready to come back? I do. Okay. Sorry, the door's locked into the hall. How'd you get back? Luckily, they were on their way walking out. Oh, I was like, no. 
we would have realized and come to you. I know my phone's here, so I couldn't call anybody. <laughs> okay. So the first one, um, we went out. Well, wait, we've got to oh. do. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. We still have to, to discuss the generator. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Okay. We're still on the generator. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I'm sorry. Where on the agenda are we now? We're, we're at uh, 5.2. Can we. Five she's been, Tara's been really great to be sitting here all this time. Can we rear Okay, I thought that was part of her too, but. No, it's not. Okay, so, so let's just do, let's do Tara. The, let her go. Um, so last, so this is the same quote that I feel like I've been Right. Okay, a I couple times. Yeah. Yeah. But just in case. Um, Tesla are wattage use. It's like too high. So there right. is one other alternative we could get a quote from, but. It didn't seem like it was happening quickly in between everything. But um, so the Tesla, mostly Green Mountain Power just operates on like home use only, yeah. basically, was the explanation we got when they came. And they did refer us to another outside company if you want me to pursue it further, but we didn't really pursue it much further than Green Mountain Power wasn't going to operate. Mm -hmm. So this is the scope of this company. What would, I think, the dollar amounts there? Quite a bit. Um, so the thing about this company is they do work with the emergency grants in the past, so they know the how, how to navigate that process as well. Okay. Should we choose to accept their bid, we don't have to accept it. We can say, you gotta walk us through the grant you know, process and then we would be willing to work. I mean, we, you yeah, I, I'm curious what the, what they, what the, you know, the, it'd be, I, I'd like to know, and I, I, I know we're dragging this on, it's, it, yeah. um, but I, I would like to know what their, what the grant, I mean, is it a, is it a matching grant? Is it 50%? Is it? Uh, there's a lot of different ones, so I don't know the answer. Uh, and at the same time, can somebody actively go to the town, um, the select board and ask if they're willing to put any funding towards um, a generator at. Is it the designated emergency space? It is. Okay. Thank you. Um, and official call is for the town. That's what Jim Jim Shan's. Uh, yeah. Jim Shan's. I'll go select board. I'll go select board. Okay. Okay. Is this twenty eight thousand six oh six? Is that total? Just just. Or is there also the yeah. maintenance plan? Oh, uh, optional, the adder. optional adders, if yeah, you sure. want the maintenance plan. And then, so the 28.6 is all the bullet points above that point. Gotcha. Um, and I don't know if their Stockbridge has an emergency shelter team, an actual team or anything. Rochester yeah. does, yeah. and if no. there, we need I mean, to I think it's probably Jim Shant. <laughs> okay. Well, there, just so you're aware, there is an emergency shelter team in Rochester, and they might just be a good resource because they've been through. Who, um, who heads that up? Um, Janice Quimby. Um, I don't know, you know, what she would be able to offer. Um, or, I'm sorry, it might be Jan McCann now. I can get you her phone number. I okay. Yeah. Let me know when which do, one When do they slip? And, um, they meet like every other Thursday, I think first and third Thursdays. So you're first and third or second and fourth? Thursdays. Thursdays, yeah. Gosh. Okay, I'll go to a meeting and ask. Yeah. Okay. And I'll reach out and ask what the process is to get started for like the grant. Right, right. And just, just right, right. Because what it, I, what I, what I, I just want to get some assurances that there, that there, there, there actually is a connection, and it's not going to be, okay. Well, you know, here, here's a, here's a, uh, a link. Download this paperwork and fill it out, and maybe they'll give you some money. Right. Versus, right. versus the, we do this all the time. We're going to get you this grant, which is twenty percent. We're going to get you right. this grant, which is the first five thousand dollars or something, and 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 be able to to list out, you know, what we're going to get. Sounds good. Okay. Now we'll let you go. Thank you very much. So the first one um, demo that I gave you, which is the regular size pieces of paper, is the results of the RFP for the tax anticipation line of credit for the FY20. So what happens um, because your cash flows fluctuate throughout the school year based on when taxes and grant monies are received, your town treasurer or your district treasurer has to borrow funds to cover your 
monthly expenditures, your payrolls and mm -hmm. all of your other expenditures. So we go out and we get these results back in. Um, out of the six, the three came back, Community Bank, Community National Bank, and Mascoma. Community Bank um, had a 3% interest rate on the borrowing, a 3.55% rate on the earning, if you went with a tax anticipation note, and the line of credit um, was 2.95 for the rate to borrow, and 1.75 for the other to actually for the earnings on it. Community National Bank, the TAN was a 2.8%, but it had a 60 point spread for the actual earnings on it, so that would be my recommendation for you all to go with, is the Community National Bank. Um, can you just, sorry, um, can you just tell me what the uh what the difference between a TAN and an LOC is? Um, the tax anticipation note is it's a different kind of permissionary note than an open line of credit. Uh, and how is that different, and why are they? Why is one used over another? Because um, you can get better investing on tax anticipation notes in a lot of instances, and in this instance this year, you're there as well. Gotcha. So the tax so anticipation note is like they know that there's or this much money. Right. That's you like have this much. So if you look at the flat over the yeah. Yeah. So if you look at the pages that back this up, that's the difference throughout like what it costs you to borrow for a tax anticipation note for each month of the year versus what you're earning for interest. Um, so the first section is for the TAN, your tax anticipation note, and then the second would be the line of credit. So for an example, this first option, you could earn $5,000 on a tax anticipation note where you would lose $420 if you went with a line of credit. It's the first. So it's the very first page when you flip it open. There's $5,000. Oh, so, these are the same, yes? Yeah, so this is for each one of the banks that offered a proposal as each page that's behind this. So it's 5000 she said it would, okay. say it would earn. Because the cost to borrow, this is the, the this, that percentage in the front here, this 3% or this 2.8, that's the amount that we're, interest we're paying, basically, to borrow. But yet, we they're earning that much more. Mm -hmm. Earning it because it's investing, you're investing the funds that are still in the account throughout the, the year. Say That's that again, what you just said, please. You pay interest on the amount you borrow, but you earn interest income on the amount that was funded in the fund throughout the year. So that's what this breakdown shows you. So there's a fund that's, I'm sorry, this is, yeah. The not bank my opens up an investment fund for you. Oh, okay. And that's and where you, our tax money goes? No, that's the money that you borrow to pay your expenditures until you get your tax money. Oh, okay. And so it's, while we're such, pulling away from it, it's doing much better than the money. bank. Yeah, it's got you. Okay. You're now making I, now more I'm than you're paying to borrow it. Thank you. That's and what you what need here. And what had we gone with uh, last year? Mascoma was better last year. Okay. And... Um, as the past couple of years have we been with Mascoma, or have I we changed have around? That. Okay, I just know current teams are with Mascoma. So the, the, the best is just to go for the best return? We, um, we recommend that you go for where you can make the most money. Okay, even if it's... Because that's pure profit on your, bundle, on your budget. And they guarantee this, these rates? Okay. So why did, so Mascoma does not do it? They're not doing a TAN, they only offer a line of credit. They only offer a line of credit. Okay. Um, and it's not that big of a deal to switch accounts to new banks or you're not switching your you're opening. And you're not switching your general ledger and all your bank accounts. No. This, this is just this the, is the one only year for it's only for one right. year. One year tax anticipation. Right. Every year we're opening a new we do this account. Every year, every year yep. we get whatever you. bank every yes. single year okay, whoever so can give us the best we know. money. Yeah. 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 This last year I don't remember yes. dealing yeah. with it. I have a no? yeah. Yeah. Um, it was not as clearly explained. Yeah, that's that's what what I, was I think it was not as clearly explained, so I don't I remember it at all. I was thinking the same thing. I don't remember this. That's I don't remember getting yeah. anything that I understood <laughs> as clearly as so this. Thank you, Sarah. Much appreciate it. This yeah, is this all learning really for me, good. too. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, good. this, well, you know, I had to. You're explaining it. Literally, yeah. I had to say, okay, stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, that's me. That's me. Because exactly. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I am. Well, and now I get so it. That was good because you got okay. that we were good. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, if, we, if, if, if uh, we're all pretty clear on, on uh, what, what Tara's given us, I would entertain a motion that uh, 
the board uh, accept the business manager's recommend recommendation and award our uh, tax anticipation note for fiscal year 20 to uh, uh, Community National Bank. Second. So, oh, I make a move. <laughs> I think you have so to go to the bathroom. So move. So second. Move. Thank you. I second you, my dear. A motion has been made and seconded to uh, accept the business manager's recommendation of the uh, Community National Bank uh, RFP for uh, the tax anticipation note for fiscal year 20. Uh, do I hear any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? So I'm assuming. We've accepted your recommendation for that. Okay, so the next step, just so you're aware, um, I may have to request that you do a special meeting. I'm waiting for Thad to get back to me. If it cannot. Sorry, who's Thad? Thad is at Community National Bank. Oh, okay, thank you. The next step is that last paragraph that you would use to sign the resolution, the non arbitrage certificate, and the note. All has to be done in a board meeting. So if I can wait until your July meeting, I will do so. But if I cannot, because your treasurer may need to borrow on July 1, I may have to request that you do a special meeting for that sole purpose, is just to sign the documentation. And do you need just a, a few of us or all of us? You need us? a quorum. Okay. To sign the documentation? Yep, because it needs to be a warrant meeting with a quorum. Gotcha. So okay. That may be just. Because we can't, okay. Because I, I know in the past what we've done when we've approved these is we've authorized the, 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 the board chair to, uh, to, to sign the documents, uh, assuming that there's no changes. If you want to do that and you think that's good to do. But if, they, they, if it has to be signed by, does it, does it only have to be signed by the board chair? I'm not sure because I haven't done it yet. Okay. So I don't know 100%. Because we could, I mean. We can make a motion to authorize the board chair to sign on our behalf if. If it if only requires one sample. If, if, yeah. if it only requires one uh, uh, one signature and it requires the, uh, and, and the terms in the bank don't change. Yeah. I move, makes this motion, I move the. Okay. I second you. Okay, a motion has been made and sec seconded to authorize the chair to sign uh, uh, documents from a community national bank, provided that the, that the chair's signature is the sole signature required. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, so we've now authorized me to sign this one set of documents around this one particular loan. Provided it only needs my signature, so hopefully oh. we don't have to have a special meeting. <laughs> yes, yeah. I drive, I drive, uh, I drive by there every day. So I'll let you know as soon as I emailed him, but he hadn't responded by the time I left. Him. Cool. So, so the second thing I gave you, oh. the big long, I don't expect you to read this tonight. This is just, you know, FYI for your information purposes. When you've had time to deep dive, as Bonnie and Lindy do, if you have questions, you can ask me. This is what we anticipate your budget to end. As for FY 2019, so it looks last page like you have about eighteen thousand nine hundred twelve dollars and thirty three cents to the good, last and page. that is based oh. on, on the very last page. If you flip the whole book, ah, oh, see, 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 yeah. see. Um, that's based on um, knowing that you had the two hundred and or the revenue shortfall and your buildings have spent about $230,000 under budget expenditures. Mm -hmm. So obviously we can't say that this is 100% guaranteed because we can't, any revenue comes in or any additional expenditures. Are we doing, are we doing a reasonable job of encumbering? We only encumbering, right now sorry. encumber payroll for contracted okay. services. So for FY20, I will be encumbering differently than our historical business managers okay. have done. That so old definition, sorry, just to remind me again. Uh, and, and, and encumbering is, so uh, she's decided that, that she's going to buy a, uh, a new deep fryer for the a new industrial deep fryer for the for the cafeteria. She's written the purchase order to get this deep fryer because our kids need deep fried food. It's a five thousand dollar deep fryer. Um, the deep fryer has been ordered. We've had our authorized agent order it. We haven't had to pay for it yet because the deep fryer hasn't shown up with the bill. Is the encumbrance? So the encumbrance is what, what encumbrance is. It's where you say, okay, I'm going to spend this five thousand dollars. I need to, you know, I need to, to, to pencil that in. Here's some examples of what I will be encumbering for an FY20. Mm -hmm. Salaries will continue. Mm -hmm. Benefits, because we know a projection every month, mm -hmm. what our health insurance and LTD, dental, all of that's going to cost based on contracts. Mm -hmm. Transportation, because we know what our allotment is for Butler for this year. Mm -hmm. Once we complete um, the fuel bid, 
whatever that decision will be, that can be encumbered. Mm -hmm. So anything that is contract that I know, here's a set cost, right. we can encumber in the system. So it automatically comes off your expenditure budget right away, rather than putting Thinking it you into more your money expenditure spend. budget as we're paying invoices, it shows it up front. And then it, the encumbered column on your budget as I give you reports yeah. every month. I was doing really we'll well. And then I just see you can see I get lost. Yeah, so I'm already taking reports. the money out to go yeah. to the store. You've put it in your yeah. wallet. It's yeah. no longer in the bank Does anymore. Does it go so somewhere? So your budget will snow. No. It just, it's just in your account. It just means that you can't spend it. So when you get oh, the new you count your money gotcha. in your drawer, yeah. that money's not there. So, so you can't say that I have gotcha. $200. Okay. So your budget uh, you. reports you. moving forward will show here's your approved our, budget. Our viewers will appreciate it. Here's any adjustments that were made to your budget after your voters approved your budget. Mm -hmm. Here is what we've spent to date. Mm -hmm. Here is your encumbrance. Here is what you have left under that account code. So that gotcha. is how your budget gotcha. reports will look. So you'll always, look, you'll always be seeing not only what you spent, but what, what you're, you're planning, planning to spend. Planning. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That, right. That, and the reason that, I, the reason I ask is that sometimes around this time of the year, mm -hmm. if the if the business office is not doing formal in encumbering because they talk about they've talked about it a number of times. It's never really really uh, happened, um, and the principals aren't very diligent or aren't being incredibly diligent about tracking what they've spent. Mm -hmm. Sometimes at the end of the year, you say, "Okay, I'm looking. I'm, I'm sitting. Looking I'm sitting great. fat. I've got eighteen thousand dollars to the to, to the black." And then, oh no, because I forgot we bought that Suddenly. deep fryer, and then we bought the backup deep fryer, and. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the a, a perfect you actual live example. Uh -huh. Of this was the HRA, HRA, the health reimbursement accounts for all of the faculty. Okay. Because that hadn't actually been budgeted, we had no idea what the cost of that was going to be for FY18. So that's why wow. when you read your finalized audits, that section was still open because DataPath still hasn't audited the FY18. So that is still a moving target for us until they finalize the that's based around. on how much somebody actually goes to the doctor. Has to go to the hospital. Uh -huh. And you, of course, doctor. you won't know until the end right. of the period then they're going to the doctor. All claims have been paid and that year's been closed oh, out. So that is a moving do target. This? You can encumber I just don't if understand. everybody no. spent their full allotted amount mm -hmm. and then you, know, you can encumber that on your budget so it's automatically taken out and then you end up you know, with a closer line item at the end of the year. So. We, think we're, we think we're pretty good on our line items, Lindy? Uh, we do. I will say <laughs> Um, Bonnie and I spoke at length this morning about, about a bunch of different things, um, but one of which was just the budgeting process, and this might make more sense after we come out of the executive session, but just because neither one of us were really part of the budgeting process last year, but, and I'll include Tara in this, it, part of the budgeting process last year, mm -hmm. in turn, we kind of knew some people's spending habits, and it just not being monitored as well as it should have been. We kind of walked into this situation, oh, I have this money, and you're like, mm, where? And we're trying to find it, and for the most part, we did a good job, but we think we have some ideas to make our system a little bit better, so it's like, when teachers leave for summer, mm -hmm. um, they already have planned out how they're gonna spend that supply money, yeah. and you're not going over. That's just the bottom line, which will hopefully make us more efficient in building in next year's budget when they say, oh, we need this money. And it's like, oh, but you really only spent 200 bucks of that money. So right. you don't okay. need as much as you Wow, that's good. That sounds very, very Excellent. efficient. Well, yeah. hopefully it's it? as efficient as well, we no, think no, it is. Well, no, 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 no. I mean, you know, it's as efficient as any teacher is spending. Daily, sometimes hourly challenge. A what? To control stuff. Oh, oh yeah. Goodness. Some people. I just don't think so. I've ever looked on a budget. I hear the word Amazon and I start twitching. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I start twitching. You mean, you're talking, talking household or are you talking? No, no, I'm about? talking like if I hear Amazon in my office, I start twitching. Yeah, yeah, because like, I'm going to start. I was ordering from Amazon. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> It should be linked. It's something You're right. that didn't ever exist and now exists. Oh my God, it's so easy. It's so well, ridiculous. Well, it's a problem. Too easy. Yeah, That's yeah, a problem. Yeah, it's I It's dangerous. That. Yeah. Good. All right. Good for you. Right. Okay. So, do we have any, sure. any other questions for, for, for Tara? Tara, thank you very much. Yeah, All right. Yeah, really I'll keep useful. you posted as soon as I hear back from you. Oh, my God. Beautiful. I can't tell you what a great relief it is. Okay. Um, yes, so do you want hey, Tara, you're not planning to leave, right? No. Good. Thank you. Why would you ask? I hit my 90 days. What? what? I hit my 90 
Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Good. No, it just, just, we've been, it's the one thing that hasn't fallen. I know you were going to. Hey, I just want to say, by the way, I'm sorry I had to drop it and run, but I was rushing to Boston to meet my sister. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. I, I'm sure you had fun. I love that I met someone at the door saying, is that scotch? <laughs> and he, like, followed me to where you were, and he's like, no, I'm going in there to drink it with him. He got some Glenn Levitt for the budget meeting. Oh, for the hey, thank you meeting. very much for that. Yeah, it was, it was, was it tasty? Yeah, I've, uh, I, I have to admit, I did sample it. It was good. It was good. I didn't know if you're a scotch man. That's fine. Okay. You said you drink everything. Yeah. Yes, I, yes, I do. <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, not wine coolers. Oh, good. Well, that's not. I'm not a teenager anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's all good. Um, annual meeting. Wine coolers? Yes. <laughs> Seriously? Oh. <laughs> annual meeting review. Um, oh boy. Do we want to? Let's go through. Let's let's go through and talk about the the principal stuff, and uh, yeah. and, and get the executive and and, yeah. and, and and before we oh. we talk about and get the uh, executive session. Uh, well, except about, that that uh, means him really. packing up his stuff and leaving. Yeah, but I mean we can we can okay. let's but let's just see how long the principal report and, okay, and that gotcha. take. Oh, okay. Hang on. There it is. Because it's it's hard to discuss a board retreat without all the board here. For example. Love That's true. Us. That's very true. It's very. What's that? Us, number seven. Number okay. seven is the, the, or five, seven? No, we don't no, have seven. seven. Oh, pick seven is other. Five says I have principal report. Yeah, but I have right. five, seven is pick up pickup process. process. Yes. Right, seven. Just pick up process, yes. Pick up process. Pick up process. Other. Process. You. Process. Pick up. It's missing a six. Just yeah. to talk to that, um. Oh, oh me. girl. My no, seven. six point, pick but up. six point one was the action you took on the RFP. Right. Yes. So we can let Tara go. Yes. Right. Okay. You guys go way too fast for me. What'd you say? R I'm like a bovine. P for. Well, yeah. Right, for the well, FY 2010. She was, yeah. I never had her written hey, in. But I'm Jenny, I wrote she had to just sit through all that other report, though. Jack Henry said he couldn't come to me on Wednesday because there's a concert. I said, no, there's not. <laughs> yeah, so there's just a lot of, um, I'm sure we probably forgot some of the activity on there. There's a lot of activity wow. that's going on. School, yeah. yeah, so a bunch of them. Was fifth and sixth graders from both Stockbridge and Rochester did their Reader's Theater of Bread and Roses too. It was very. I it saw was, it. It was, was great. Very cool. Was it? It was really, it was really good. Okay. They're planning on doing Especially something. Especially for the amount of time they spent. Yeah. I thought it really rose up. It, yeah. The plan is to do it again next year, great. but earlier before the Little League and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do it in the winter when people have nothing to do. But with where yeah. we don't have to reschedule for weather, so yeah, I'm not really sure when that magical time is. <laughs> 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 Believe me, I, I think about theater for yeah. Anyway, okay. good. Um, on Friday, Ethan led K1 from Stockbridge and Rochester on a frog hunt. It was cool. Just down here to Gordy Merrill's, Gordon Merrill's yeah, yeah. property. Yes. It was great. Um, and then they did like a guided river walk, so lots of oh, science cool. stuff. They also went to Vins on yeah. Monday. I, didn't I went to that. Yeah. That was great. That was stuff yeah. That yeah. was Vins. very great. Vins is great. Great. Their educational program was very yeah, well done. Yeah, but they Top notch. Yeah, they, and they provided they, a discount, too. What's that? They provided a discount for the kids, so it was That's pretty affordable very good. to send. Great, great. Both buildings. And those that age group really appreciates it. That's all I've heard. About it. Oh my God! That, the yeah, hawk, yeah. the hawk. They send a hawk flying right over your head. Like all literally, kids are like ducking. Oh, yeah. oh they, they, that's what they talk about. Is that a mo that moment? Um, okay, sorry. Um, so yes, tomorrow, fourth through sixth oh, grade tomorrow. band and chorus will have at at six. We'll have a combined con um, concert at the Stockbridge Commons Meeting House. Similar to what we did for Bread and Roses, we found a lot of success for this, is we keep the kids after school. Yes. They get to spend time together. Nobody goes home. You have to pick your kids up at um, the concert. The concert. And what a great really idea. Cool we idea. feed they're them. Gonna, they're going to bust them down. Is this new? Um, new? Um, it's something Bonnie and I talked about after the first concert, how you have those who are not as excited about being in performance. Don't and how show they show up. Yeah. Right. So this way, it's like, well, this is where you're picking your kid up at this time, and we're going to feed them. Right. So, and, and, right. and it's a community. Very good they're, connecting right as a group. And so right. they get some extra rehearsal time together but they also just I think what I saw last week was they really just spent time together in a really unstructured setting and it 
went well last week. So good. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. the plan really for that. Uh, both schools have finished all SBAT testing. Um, Great. Where, so when do we? When will yeah. we see um, results? They're still that? coming back. So maybe um, in July. Um, right, and I have to figure out how to print the results without kids' names on them. Right. Without so what? Without kids, it can be a really detailed report. Right. I'm still learning that part of the interface, where you can click on it and I can see what every kid did, or I can give you the percentages, which is for some of the classes really obvious because the classes are really small, so you can start to figure out. So we just so have, have to figure, figure out the best not. way to present that. Yeah, is, right. mm -hmm. And I'm sure Bonnie probably knows a little bit more about it than no. I do. Yeah, so somebody, oh, somebody asked me, oh, sorry, go, no, go no, ahead. No, 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 okay, you first. I just um, along with the aspects, then we've also taken the Start360 test, right. that's all done. So it would be this nice if at the same related. time we were able to, or mm -hmm. maybe be able to get And it. I've also asked like some specific information about the Start360 see percentages and how they're configured from Mary Ellen as I started to look at those numbers a little okay. bit more. I just have to, I've been asked there's some twice. stuff that doesn't make sense and I can show you what doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. There's, I've been asked twice, not a huge majority out of all our voters, but I've been asked twice in the last several weeks. When will we know where we stand? Because obviously we made a big point about the fact of us being dead last in the state in some of these things. I think in the district we set up. When the district. Oh, well, the well. SVAC scores, when they were published at one point in time, this was a couple of years ago, I don't think they were stellar. You are correct. Well, I don't know. This, is, this was something that was no, touted out a lot yeah. that we were last. And it would be that such a, a lovely couple, thing. Right, that was a couple of years ago that Rochester was, was last. Well, I thought no, it was no, last no, year. Was, we were talking I mean, last said year. said 44% proficiency. Right, yeah, 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 that's not yeah. Yeah. And so yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, one, where that number came from, and two, when are we going to have something that might be Tells different. maybe a little different? So the window closed for SBEX on Friday. That was like the last possible day you could take it. Now there's this makeup window if some kids were absent. And I think that window goes till like Tuesday of next week, maybe. I'm not sure off the top of my head. Because we were getting reports out today with how many kids like have, have, to, have taken it. Just like the whole check mark, right. you did it. Um, thing. So we'll just keep that in mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah just very that interested. it's very useful. Yes. Um, and we should definitely yeah. tout it if it's anything better, of course. And fix it if it's not. Yeah, yeah well, exactly. Well, well, I think we're already doing it. We haven't started to expect anything yet because it's no, the end of I the school know. year. I know. So I'm just one conversation Jeannie and I had a uh, just she was helping me out with something else today. Is, and Bonnie and I have had this multiple times. Now that we've gotten through a lot of functional issues yes. that we both inherited in both buildings, there is definitely a need to rein in some just general classroom instruction. And it's not that it's- Instruction. Yeah, it's not that it's bad, it's just that they've been left to their own, that everybody we have here, I say with full confidence, is great and they're passionate and they're excited to do what they do, but they've also kind of been left to their own devices for mm -hmm. too long without the checks and balances of education to make sure that it's showing up in the right way that our kids are learning something. So that's like what we're launching a, in good. those two professional development days in June. Yeah, great. It's some well, expectation. I, I, I can explain yeah. more in July exactly what okay. we're, mm, we're looking forward to that. Present. Um, just yeah. to follow up on that, uh, um, we have, especially at Rochester, a lot of new teachers. Mm -hmm. um, will we get, I've obviously never having been on a school board for very long, do we get your assessments of how their first years went? I don't think we do. We've we've gotten we we've gotten kind of a, a Can we even a an general overview. Report, I would like to get a sort of overview. I would get a general report of I how. We can do I mean, I actually asked. Master agreement. I think that's okay. I asked two teachers today. Maybe I wasn't supposed to. How their year went, and I without any judgment, and they just sort of said, "Oh, well, I learned a lot. I know where I'm going to improve." Oh, that's great. So um, I thought that was a very good response. Um, should I not? No, no, be doing I just that? don't think for the privacy act that they, that they can. Well, of course, I am a parent too, so well, I'm a parent. And you're not asking for an evaluation. It's no, not no, a formal no, no, evaluation. No. I don't think Bonnie and Lindy can give us. I can give you the structure of like 
how they were evaluated? Yes. Well, yes. yes. That, yeah. would, that would have loved to and see. Because that would explain thing, but they did say Madam X mm -hmm. is, you know, doing right. this. Is I, at this level, because we are assessing them on a rubric similar to the way kids are assessed. Great job. Thank you. Uh, just, I just think it's not a bad thing to stay on top of. Yeah, no, and were, I think I mean, we've, gotten, we've gotten, and, and, and we've yeah. gotten, and I, you know, it, it, we didn't get one uh, last year because our principals were, yeah. were, were, right. were, were different. But I mean, yeah. in general, you know, a general sort of overall debrief, you know, this went well, you know, mm -hmm. the, the, you know, I mean, it's, you can't give a formal, they can't say, here's the, the, the formal stuff. Well, you can say, you know, the new teacher uh, integrated well with this, and this teacher brought this good idea. Yes. That kind of, I mean, it still, goes, well, it goes, yeah. still goes back to my thing, which I, I feel has been a little dropped and was given some lip service, the idea of, of open curriculum, that we actually have a curriculum book that we know what's being taught. I mean, I, I, will, so say, I will say we're individual not teacher, yet. yeah, okay, good. That, I, that's, that's, a, that's a much more direct answer than we're working on it. Um, because well, I was a little yeah. frustrated that I did notice that on my Wilder's teacher started sending home more outlines of how homework should be done, what homework was, and I was very appreciative of that, and we told her that, right. and we, we talked about that in particular. But just that sense of, and maybe this is part of the reining in or the right. focusing, like, yeah. is that peop, what are people teaching? And I really think we should be able to tell our, our parents Okay, this is what your kid's going to study this year. And the teachers should know that at the beginning of a so year. So there's two components to that. There's mm -hmm. one, there's teachers being on their own. There's also, in the state of Vermont, mm -hmm. um, outside of literacy and mathematics, there is not a, you must go through this path. Mm -hmm. there's a lot for of, elementary. For ele mm -hmm. even high school. I mean, I, I can tell you some comparison stories from when I taught in Virginia, when it was like, you will achieve this by oh, this the stage. Oh, the SOLs. I mean. Yeah, I've got a different name for those. But, um, <laughs> but, and then I came here and they're like, oh, you're going to teach world history. I'm like, great, when? Like, when do you want me to start? That's a really long period of time. So that's an example. But there is also that component that you're talking about. Even, even in the generalist terms, just mm -hmm. something that somebody can look at, this is what second grade at Rochester and Stockbridge right. looks it's like. like a syllabi. Yeah, even yeah. something as basic as that so the parent actually knows what's going on Absolutely. in their classroom roughly throughout the year. Yes. You can make it. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Oh, um, thank you. I just, yeah. I just like to put that out again because for me, it's as a parent and as a school board member, it's very important. But that's okay. It's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Good. Good. Yes, sorry. Keep going. So, yes. So, let's see. Um, what else? On the 11th, K through 6 from both schools are traveling to Blueberry Hill Center for combined field day activities. Cool. The teachers are combining, and it circles back to there are two authors that Amy Brown knows that came in and read for I Love to Read. Um, I never saw a moose in Moose Lamu. So I um, tried to oh, yeah. circle that back. Um, Graduation is that kind of their end of school day? Yeah, the fun, the, the, the fun. fun. I think that's a great and idea. Both um, cafeteria people are coming too with food and serving. So. Excellent. Yes. Um, what else? There's graduation dates in there. There's yep. step up dates. Um, great. And then interview times. Yes. Uh, we've narrowed down there. Oh, am I? There were eight applicants. Eight applicants. Oh, okay. No, sorry, nine applicants for the um, what will be most likely a fourth, most replacing Jenna's position. Mm -hmm. um, there are nine applicants. We've narrowed it down to five for face-to-face -face Oh, thank you. Because I was asking a search committee. Yes, so we're going to interview on June 10th and 11th at Rochester. Um, and you're having five interviews, you said? Five, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, great. yes, and if you want, we could talk to time later. Yeah. Yeah, if yeah, you're yeah. available to be on the committee, that mm -hmm. would be great. I know you expressed that interest. Mm -hmm. um, step up days, all sorts of things. And then there's one other thing that Bonnie said. So she is having people come to look at the roofs Good and idea. give a quote just because right. that's we need too have. far gone in a lot of ways. Like, do we need to have it patched? What do we right. know? So we're not 
Right. Well, we, we couldn't. We couldn't. We couldn't get Black River to do it. Right. You know, in, 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 in February and March, yeah. you're not going to so haul it on the roof in March. Yes. Yeah. So if we have a roofing company, right. Yeah. So she has that organized, and then the asbestos is the 25th and 26th of June. I got other um, two things. Okay. Right. So that's kind pick of pick a process. That. Yeah. Why don't you have her pick up process? At Rochester. Pick a process. Uh, yeah, um, I, I did notice that they would like to build a new lobby um, in the elementary school. Uh, it's just been talked about that we're standing in the pouring rain picking up kids at the front of the school and that um, parents walking up to the door are told, uh, uh, you know, you can't. It's, it's just, and I know there's security issues, but it's just, um, I just, it's just not terribly welcoming, and it's not. We used to be meeting in the gym, picking up our kids in the gym, which was, that a, was for one, yeah, one year. Or yeah, one year. and and I just thought it was a really nice thing to be able to be out of the weather, to meet your child. So, what what's the philosophy? We, well, safety is a big one, but um, I might be able to answer your question in an executive session. Oh, okay, good. Okay. Thank some you. of that may be personality. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. So, if I don't, then we no, can that's fine. back to thank it. You, thank you, thank um, you. I, I just want to, it's my yes, thing to put it out there in the public why record. Doing it the way we're doing it yes. Now, and, um, On a sunny day in May, June, it's a lovely right. place to be, and the kids run and play, and the and snowbank was really fun for the kids. Right, and we, uh, yeah. in Stockbridge, let parents in and I have to say I'm not always the biggest fan of it because there's no like stop point so right. they start to want to wander. I'm fine with a stop right. point. I'm fine they with a stop point. This is why I think the awesome. gym is a great place because it's we all stay in one side and you can even put panels up or something right. like that to okay. well, you know just thing. just yeah. yeah so anyway so maybe thank the, you. Maybe it'll answer that. I would just put it up for not. advisement. Yeah so then we can. All right as an active parent. Yeah. Um, so we, we had annual meeting review on there and board retreat. I think that probably we, we're not going to do the annual meeting uh, any any kind of justice. Having a conversation uh, uh, just us and, and just now. And I think that's something to think about for the uh, board retreat. What I'd like to say, though, about the annual meeting piece now is that if we could all take some time and if you can you can Google it, you can see a lot of others town a lot of other town reports. Mm -hmm. I think you know I heard what everyone was saying. This you know this this, this report is, use it not use good. It friendly. And I really couldn't we I really didn't feel it was appropriate to say to uh, uh, discuss the um, you know the, the the turnover in business managers and the fact that mm -hmm. you know that that really Tara did yeah, did yeah, yeah. went above and beyond just getting us something on the on the table you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I think if we could find if we could you know take some time to, to, mm -hmm. to find some formats or that, that, that we find understandable. I actually have in my head after that meeting I literally have a vision I can see it I can see what our book looks like next year okay we and it's got things. and it's got a narrative throughout and it has literally headings and and it's it's sort of me like I do in the meetings asking clarification questions and I think it's um, so I have a really clear idea and I'd even be happy to put it into when we have the retreat or talk about this more write it out a little bit because I just think let's set a standard mm -hmm. for this sure. why not because I think your idea of having the schedule so that we're not waiting for everything at the last minute we know yes. okay we've already got this stuff yes. let's have that so that we're and we're adding things in throughout a four month period let's say or six and month part period. of this annual meeting review is um, Jenny is going to set up a, a calendar for us it's yeah. not necessarily on uh, the sec June 2nd this no is no no it's like in the month of, of May. Of right. January. This is what we need to be looking for and trying to accomplish. Yeah, we exactly. Certainly about the cover design exactly. and more things than, than just that. I mean, you know, the fact that I was doing the cover design at the meeting before it was going in, you know, it was fine. It right. Absolutely. But but I just, I have, so I, anyway, well, yeah, I've got I, good I, feedback. I, yes, and I think, again, the, the more... The more preparation we get out of the central office, yes. I think the, the less yes. and having the less no. work. I mean, yeah. if if we can know that we've got the numbers right and we've put the numbers to bed, we have more time to say, okay, let's talk about you know achievement and let's think about how we could put test information out there without compromising children's identities, yep. right. and, and 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 how we can 
put puts more of that in there because we don't really I mean these last couple of years it's been just okay we got some spreadsheets there print right. them. Yeah, yeah 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 exactly fast, exactly so which fast to get yeah. it together and, and this is no because you, know? you and I you know and no it's it's things, it's it's I, really I, I think it's, it's we did a part fine of the central office job and being, it was surprising that that was the biggest issue of the night well aside from how to vote <laughs> at the end <laughs> that was was just, I was like dying because I've you know I was seven years as a town moderator and it was like no we got to just resolve the amendment and once yeah, we resolve yeah, the amendment exactly. that gives then us you, a question then you have then to have vote the whole thing again yes. yeah anyway um great so good I'm excited we'll for that process because I think so, it's so we're really sort of tabling we're going to go over to yeah. the annual meeting group right. a little bit more and yeah. later. Yeah. right and right and I just wanted the, the biggest piece was I just wanted us to be yep. doing some some legwork and it sounds like you have some great ideas uh -huh. and if we can look at things and say and the schedules I here's think what we like about really the, great idea the, 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 yeah. the Randolph because then we know like what that. we're looking ahead at and say right we got to this is coming up yeah good um, good we kind of skipped overboard comment um so we did kind of like to plug in there along with kind of we're talking about the budget and you know, new meaning i'd like to propose that even like specifically around budget season possibly we add another meeting to the month that is just, just a budget meeting mm -hmm. and yeah. then yeah. our regular meeting is all of you know your lessons and hearing about the, all the rest of the business because we end up here so late which you know and then the other things don't get as much yeah. time yeah. As yeah. We, yes oh no you know, exactly as we sit yeah, here at 9 15. Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah. Yeah. and we should and we still have you yeah because you know, you, these things these all of it's weighty yeah. and yeah right. right well i mean and, you know this meeting went long because we had a we had a, a presentation, presentation. black river yeah, yeah, we were supposed to right. but yeah <laughs> we need to if if the meetings are going to go this length we we should definitely consider if the, if you cut out all the jokes and snide and nice We'd little things I know, no, 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 no 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 that wouldn't be as much fun oh what do you want yeah, i know i know I'm, I'm waiting for number seven are we there yet um, <laughs> i thought maybe have we, were we finished with uh, have we finished with uh, <laughs> yes. board comment okay. that was board comment that was board comment postponing board retreat yes and so, the yeah. annual review so of the annual meeting can we can, we can we uh, just for a sec just to think can we talk in general terms are we talking like july yeah. june when are we talking for board routine <laughs> July. July sometime or, or uh, third week. July. Third week in July is far enough before. Oh no, you're gone. July. I'm getting married in July. Oh, <laughs> well, congratulations! Thank you. Um, you'll you'll be at that retreat. No. Yeah. I <laughs> Are you just not working all summer? I said, no, you just keep picking that same date. Hey, <laughs> yeah. What day um, are you getting married? July 20th. Oh, so that is the third week. I just don't want to overkill. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, I'm I mean, wondering, I August, August, now is a board I'm retreat, wondering. is a board retreat just the board? Yeah. Or is uh, it, 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 it can be. It, 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 it depends I mean, on what, it depends on what we're we trying to some, accomplish. I mean, I think we have some philosophic issues that we need to talk about just and as a board. maybe you only need us there for part of it. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking is that we need some time just to get to talk big, bold, broad stuff. But I think it's, let's wait until June. Yeah. And okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, and Bonnie as well. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're talking July second is when we're going to meet again. So can everybody make sure they have their calendars? And we're not meeting in June. This, this is June. June. This is June. Oh my God. <laughs> it's June. It's June fourth. Welcome to the meeting. Welcome to the meeting. Welcome Welcome to the meeting. Now, as far as July second goes, I will not be asking here. so many uh, questions. Because they have to go out and come back in again right now. So we can certainly, you can certainly have a meeting without me in July, or we can push it You're to July ninth. You could send some dates if we do meet on July second. Yeah, I can send. Yeah. I can send you dates. You're going to be gone. Available. Early July. I'm going to be. I'm going to be gone from uh, June twenty eighth through like the July through. Might even be, I, I think I'd come back on the 9th, actually. Well, Tuesday the 9th, yeah. Long trip. Yeah. Uh, for you. Fun? Yeah. We go to, uh, seeing Julie's family in Chicago. Oh. Okay. Seeing my daughter in Rochester going to Phoenix. Oh, come on. This is 30. I'm literally looking at the clock going by. This is 10 seconds of time. That's not making a difference in your bed night, bedtime. So. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Done. So. Public, no. public moment. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe a suggestion that public moment should be maybe it usually uh, up on the schedule. So it, it is usually yes, it usually because is. you're it's all exhausted, but it's still good to have an opportunity to hear from the public and taxpayers. No, no, no. It is usually sure. in the very and beginning. also tax. Okay, well, okay, but also 
you know, there's, there is a group of taxpayers out there that aren't the parent taxpayers, they're the older Correct. taxpayers and so on. And so, how, you know, that communication and also some like me who has this issue about the carbon footprint issue and yep. how serious that is. But before I, I jump on that real quick, I just want to say that in the minutes, uh, uh, these minutes, uh, I'm 11.4, you know, I was talking about the marquee. Not that you needed to talk about it tonight, but how do you formally relate to the public instead of just, I mean, what happens is it gets forgotten. And it just gets dragged, yeah, you know. Right, I forgot, forgotten because I, you actually told, talked to me about well, it. Well, not, not, I was not that was a long time ago. No, 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 no. You talked about it actually no, recently. That's okay. I'm just, but, I'm just sharing with you how we communicate. You know, a good thing to how to communicate. If it's in the minutes, it's probably good to put it into well, the next the, minutes. Also, the fact yes. that Stockbridge has a marquee and uses it regularly, and we do not have a marquee on this campus. But it's we do have a marquee on well, this Well, we campus. have, we do. It's, it's, it's not uh, behind it's not. the building. So, yeah, so well, I'm just saying it, but, but for all types so of there, I, I don't know this for certain. I want to say there's something about where it was when you sold the property, right. about where it could go is next. Yeah. And it, um, well, I'm not totally a bond. But, 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 but you know what? I'm not interested in that as so yeah. much as the process. Uh, of communication, like you know, it's been it brought was a forth. Form, it was a board that people could read as they went by to find out what was happening at the school. No, no, I was actually referring more to just when I was talking about how you communicate to the public. You know, it's, that this was discussed. Well, well, I brought it up at this meeting, and then this meeting, there was nobody to communicate that right. concern. Yep. Well, I forgot. Yeah. Well. I it did, could have right. been left a message. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. No, but, but I, I, let me go. Let, let me just drop us. it. Wait, do listen to us, Nate. Oh, because oh. it's important to say, I did. I wrote it down and then I forgot because it was. I talked to you about it and I was like, yes, we need to put it on the agenda. And it was one of them. It's like sitting there going, I remember the first thing somebody asked me about. What's the second? And this was it. Oh. And I forgot it. So just so you know, <laughs> oh, it no, was I there. And, it, and 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 and, it, and I've heard you talk about it and I believe in it because transparency is one of the. Key issues of our of when we all got together as a board okay Real, uh, just history wise I mean as someone who did participate on a sc uh, school board at one time uh, for an example uh, we used to have in Rochester in uh, our annual report an inventory of our property well one of the things that happened early uh, a while back was uh, having, and it took a long time to make this happen, to have a cordless electric trimmer being used on the property. I have no idea if that piece of equipment's still here, if it's gone, what's happening, or the philosophy around how we use this stuff around the kids. Mm -hmm. Because it's a science thing. It's education when they see the staff using appropriate technologies. Mm -hmm. And we make, we, in the SU, sorry, the SU's not here, you guys have the ability to communicate to the SU our collective desires when they're paying for the contractors to mow, trim, or, or the staff. Is the staff being trained about a carbon footprint, even in the kitchen, wherever it is? How do, and all this going on with, you know, with the Black River situation and how you're looking at it, what is number one? And for me, uh, I'm concerned about the children's needs. It's not going to do us any good to educate them if we're not focusing on the, the situation. And, mm -hmm. you know, I'm sorry, but the situation, you know, was talked about April 15th. We saw, saw it again on the building back here, you know. So. I don't know what you mean by that. Flooding again. Oh, yes. Yeah, I mean, yes, I mean yeah. this is, yeah. you know, we're seeing it almost monthly or whatever. It's, mm -hmm. it's our new reality, and we need to, it needs to be, the kids, you can't just tell, you don't want to scare the kids, but we sure can give them what we're responding to. And if it means the guy out there using a, a, an electric leaf blower instead of a gasoline one, that's education. 
Mm -hmm. And we, I mean, every, what is our carbon footprint? When you start looking at all the plans, how do you evaluate a carbon footprint? How do you, how does, how does the SU should be providing that information? I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean that should be. I really have though is by switching over to a lot of electric, it doesn't do us any good if it's not a renewable source of electricity. Well, I mean, I mean you can have a solar panel and you can do it and it could be a science project for the kids. I mean, it's not, it's, it's, we're beyond, you know, we're, we're beyond that conversation at this stage of the game. I mean, we, that's where we're at. But a lot of our electricity does still come from non-renewable sources. Well, well, we can get a steam going with some wood chips and make electricity with a generator with the kids and, and charge the battery for the leaf roller for the and maintenance person who use it. I completely hear you, but yeah. we also have kids who can't even read. I, I, I don't know, I don't understand so that, like but it doesn't do any good if they're dead. Right, but like our big <laughs> right now, to answer your question, our big one is just getting kids to compost correctly. Like I understand. I understand. We did this way. 40 years ago. Well, but yep. that's this is 40. We're already, we, we're, re we're recycling the process again, but we lost 40 years. And now we don't have the same type of what? luxury that we had. So I'm just saying, as a taxpayer, I don't mind passing a $4, $4 million budget, but. <laughs> you, want, you want it to be going, I think. I they, want to know that we have an, a, a mission we statement. Certainly, we, we, we certainly have always had, and, and, and still do, you know, an environmental and a wellness focus at our schools. And yeah, it's perhaps not as, as uh, you know, line item, we're checking these all these boxes off, but we do, that, that, that has been our philosophy, and I think it still is. I think it's important to, you know, Elevate. you're absolutely right. We need to, we need to be drilling Step down and, 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 and focusing more. And what I'm really hopeful for is as, you know, as, 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 as to, to, to piggyback this on to, to, to what Lindy was saying about the idea that, you know, now, They've had a year as, as principals to kind of go through and understand the buildings and, and deal with the staff, and they can start looking at things uh, around professional development and, and you know start thinking about things because that's that's a very good point. You know, should the should the SU, I mean the SU is focused on reading, but at some point in time there's science and STEM that our communities have said specifically is a, is a, is a big priority. So you know I mean, the school buses are looking the SU. looking at looking looking into those things and trying to uh, align things more and more with 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 some of those those initiatives is important i think i think like the the black river people made a really good point you know uh, vary your fuel source which used to be have an oil burner and a propane burner you know maybe put in one you know put in one new furnace and keep one of the oil ones and put in because you know, it'll cost us more to put in a a, a pellet system than, than it will to put in just another oil one but maybe that's maybe that's something we should be we should be thinking about and, and, and doing i know they put a there's there's a pellet fuel at sharon elementary they got a big silo right out yeah, front big yeah. silver well, silo. Well, part of it is encouraging yeah, just, uh, new parents to come into the school and there are new parents out there looking at different states going what type of school and a lot of them are looking sure. at schools that are dealing with these issues so, uh, and Mason I, I hear you and I think it is this is why it's great you keep coming back and you keep your and you keep focusing on this issue because it isn't something we really take on you know, we talk about literacy. We talk a lot about literacy, and that's very important. We talk some about math. Um, I do personally believe that the climate is the biggest issue that faces the world. I totally believe that as an individual. Um, but I don't believe that it has suffused the curriculum. And maybe it's a philosophical thing we talk about at the board retreat, is that what, you know, because it can be, it doesn't have to just be STEM. It can be part of reading. Sure. Absolutely part of reading. It's like anything else, if you really believe in it, that it becomes part of the whole philosophy of how you, d you, you look at things. And I think that's, it, it, we're, we are um, a barometer and, uh, uh, of everyone's awareness of that. Amazon. Talking about Amazon, that's part of this discussion. Yeah. How we order things, how we, I mean, everything can be looked at through this prism of, are we doing the most environmentally conscious thing we can right now? So I, I think we'll do better. You know, I feel like a little bit like the annual meeting, you know. 
I hear you, and I think we'll, and, and, and you're going to have to keep coming back. Oh, I think we can be guaranteed of that. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. And I don't, and I, and I, but I welcome you because I welcome that you, you push this issue, which I think is very important. And, and that it's going to take that kind of continual reminder to get it into our bot bodies. And I, and I totally agree. I mean, you know how I am with curriculum. And I totally, I mean, the climate is so critical, especially because we're destroying it so quickly. Um, but I think there's no but. I, there's a, some things, it's not a question of if you do them, it's a question of when you do them. The same thing like we have to set priorities with the buildings, what we're going to do this, right. we're going to do And that. this is the right time to be, as we're doing the buildings, it has to be a well, the face of the yes, whole puzzle. We're so, dealing with a I'm building that was... I'm going to say with Lindy, uh, we have kids, we have generations who have not read through these schools. We have generations. Oh, they're going to read. And no, it's they're gonna not, happen. Mason. No, well, they're you not. Well, you know, I, 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 no, they're I, I, not. And we have to do something about that first. Right, work with the parents. No, we have to work Well, I mean, that's just kids. my personal opinion, is that no, the more we do with the parents, the kids will read better. But that's a piece of it. That's but a big not piece of it. Part. I mean, but, I, but the, the night's getting late, and I don't want to take yes. it up. But I just, but your I retreat you. idea I hear you. is, yeah. you know, a really good philosophy. You know, as a taxpayer, about. I almost go, hey, let's pay a parent fifteen thousand to teach the kid at home, you know, instead of the eighteen five. But that's another story for another day. <laughs> but, oh, we can have a for you. One yeah, that would be that with you. Absolutely. Thank you. I'll go back to my job. <laughs> Thank you.